Welcome to the Foul Mounts Network. And this is Foul Mounts Live. We've got the Filthy Mouth Gamer, Mr. Cuddy Chris, Lucky Lucky Low, and the one and only Foul Mouth Ken. Yo, what's up, everybody? This is Foul Mouths Live, episode 87. Oh, yeah. Coming to you live from New York. And we got a lot to talk about tonight. We got a wrestling legend in my book who passed away. We're going to be paying tribute to the one and only Van Vita. We also got a bunch of other shit to talk about, like immigration, a brand new branch of the government, some rappers being killed. We got a lot to talk about tonight on the show. What's up, everybody joining us out there? Yeah, big shout out to the chat. What's going on, everybody? Like I said, we got a full house tonight. We got the whole crew in the house. Oh, yes, Mr. Filthy. Oh, shit. You're going to get the pudding pop with Clara, Bob, and you get the Clara, Bob, with the pudding pop. Ah, my son in his love is the pudding Clara, from pop. Ah, fuck you in the box. <laughs> Ken, may the Schwartz be with you. And may the Schwartz be with you, my friend. <laughs> Let's not waste any time, guys. What's up, everyone? Tenny. Cocks out and pussy is out. Rock out with your cock out, Tenny. I got to drop Skype calls for the not so new guy. Oh, shit. We're going to be opening up the Skype calls. We're going to be opening up the phone lines. Still in the love. Uh, we're going to be hearing from you guys tonight at a certain point. Um, but like I said, what's up to the Twitter sphere? And what's going on, everybody? We got a full yes. house tonight. Yo, speaking oh. of the Twitter sphere, I'm going to tell you right now. Brian from Southside Queens, because I know he's in here. Yeah. Dude, he no, he does nothing but tweet out tits and ass, dude. Of random chicks on oh, Twitter. Buddy. Yeah, he's the man. Dude, he, he tweeted Good out papa. those fucking black what chicks, dude. These you? giant fucking sense. tits that yeah, I've never really seen before. Like he knows oh, wait, hold on. Some you can't refuse from Papa. From Papa. Papa. And I love you, son. You are my only child, my son. My Papa. Masculine son. My Papa. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. Shies up. She blinded me with Shies. She blinded me with my own Shies. Shies. It's bloody Shies time. Ladies and gentlemen, that's right, we're coming to you live from fucking England right now. And we're telling, we're talking about Shiza all night long here on the fucking show. It's all about the Shiza. What you like about Shiza? Do you like poop with Shiza? Do you like eating the Shiza? Do you like cooking with Shiza? It's all about the feces tonight. Shiza feces all around for everyone tonight. I got my wooden teeth in. We're going to rock out with the cocks out. And do all that type of shit tonight. Now, nah, what's going on? Um, rug out with your gog out, guys. Um, Space Force. But yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> so, so, <laughs> I'm gonna be <laughs> Space Force. I mean, it sounds but, like <laughs> such a movie title. It does. It does, man. You it's know? fucking. It's weird. It and we have a, a whole new branch really? of the government. Who a whole new branch of the fucking government. Like, really just right, weird. That hasn't been done in a long time. That hasn't been done since 2001 when we fucking opened up the um, Homeland, Homeland Security. Security. Um, so it's been a while, 17 years since they did yeah. anything like that. Um, but this is going to be like, if, if it's really what he's saying it's going to be, then this is, this is we're on the dawn of a really cool fucking era. 
that's going to start happening with America jumping into the aerodynamics, the whole fucking like jumping Some into the game. Shit. Yeah, they're jumping in head first. If this is for real, which I question, I question if this is real or not. Okay, it's because not real. Well, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to put. I don't trust what I hear. I don't know if I'm if I'm so sure of that. Okay, we're going to go guns blazing. We're going to go. T- well, no, it's it's. He stated that it's to, to defend the Earth from asteroids. That's what he stated. Okay, so so so. That's, that's what, what he saying, stated, bro. There's got to be a reason why they're I didn't, doing yo, it. Yo, when did he state this? This was during yeah, his speech? I didn't hear him say that. Well, it's all over. It's all over the news. Yeah, but it's did everywhere. He, but Every did news he, outlet. But did he state that? Or is that speculation? I didn't see the actual interview of him talking on television. I read an article that said that this is the use of the Space Force was to attack any asteroids that come our way. That's what we're doing this for? Like, you think that we have to build another branch to the government for asteroids. Meanwhile, we haven't got hit with an asteroid that's done significant damage since, what, the dinosaurs, maybe? Like, so what the fuck Pretty do we much. need a new branch of the government for that for? They're lying to us. There's no doubt about it. If they're telling us that it's for it's for, for asteroids, then obviously we all know what it what it is. It's either to intercept or to find or to fight something that's up there already. I'm Dude. telling you right now that there's a barrage of, of alien spaceships heading here. <laughs> a barrage? Tiny. Jesus Christ, I hope you're fucking wrong, Chris. I'll tell you that right now. I, I, mean, I hope wrong. I am too, but I mean, why else create a whole... F- why create a fucking space force? I don't, I don't know. That's this way. We are the most fucked up in the whole universe, if anything. I mean, how do you know that? How do you know that? You know, like, how do you know that? Yeah, there might be another planet where they like fucking, you know. Yeah, there's plenty more. You know, who God only knows. Like, for, first of all, if if aliens are coming here, they're way more, you know, <laughs> ahead of us. Oh, uh, wait, hold on one second. Tommy NC 2010 has spoken. Tommy NC 2010 has spoken. And I love you, son. You I want to be the first mega <laughs> astronaut to launch the rocket in my pocket straight to Uranus. Oh shit! Well, you got it, Tommy. You- <laughs> Yeah, my but hold on a minute, though. That's a big misconception. <laughs> yeah, you just said before. Yeah. What? Why are aliens only always portrayed as the more significant ones? Why, because how, they're how, coming here. They're coming here. They're finding us. But how? Ha- but how? Ha- but how do you know that? Maybe we're creating the space force to go find them. Well, okay. Uh, we, well, that I understand, but what? I'm saying it. Can we just mind our own fucking business for once? I mean, Jesus, fuck. Oh, listen, Christ. we gotta ha- listen. If they're coming to this planet for free, we gotta throw them into that uh, immigration camp. Listen, yeah, but he's- Trump. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna separate their kids from them. We're gonna fuck separate- that shit. <laughs> uh, Filthy. What were you gonna say? I think it's fucked up if we spend another dime on anything. And Flint, Michigan, still doesn't have water. Seriously, yeah. that's fucking disgusting, man. I know that's not that is pretty Trump, fucked man. up. That that's is pretty Obama. fucked up, man. He, Obama ignored it, dude. That fucking pipeline that everybody fought over in fucking um, the Dakotas. It's already leaking. Nothing. This it's just leaking. in. This just in, guys. Uh, Trump apparently has already taken out the first spaceship in the new uh, branch of the government. Holy shit! Yeah, listen. Hello. Hello, do you guys copy Houston? Houston, this is your president speaking. I'm coming to you live uh, uh, via the first manned ship to uh, my homeland. I'm actually from Mars because I'm orange. Oh, God! Yes, I'm orange. I'm from Mars. I have my spray tan with me, my uh, can of spray tan, and I'm going to Mars. I'm the first Mars, uh, the first person to Mars. That's what I want to be. That's why I'm doing this. You guys have any questions for me? He's loving it. Do you guys have any questions for me? Don't just jump on me at once. Come on, Lucky Low, you're the interviewer. Yeah, I got a question. What are you going to do when you get to Mars? I'm going to tan. You going to tan? <laughs> I'm you orange. Fuck, are you going to fuck Melania on Mars? I blend right in. I'm Melania. orange. Melania. I blend right in. I'm orange. You won't be able to find me on Mars because I blend right in. 
Do they have good tanning beds in Mars? Yes, Mars? next question. Go ahead. Next question. Uh, is it all about dick on Mars? It is indeed all about dick. Right now, I'm in my, the first man ship to Mars. And uh, where the fuck is the coffee cup holder? You telling me they didn't put a coffee, a coffee cup holder in here? They got a spray tan holder. A cuppy holder? You got a fucking... I need a cuppy holder for my coffee. This is bullshit. Houston, we have a problem. A real big one. Fire whoever oh, made this wow. ship. Fire whoever made this ship. Don't pay for it. All right, go ahead. Next question. Yeah, where do you get your dick sucked on Mars? <laughs> well, there's plenty of places you get your dick sucked on Mars, Phil. Yeah, I tell you right now, it's a great little place. Right when you first get on Mars in the quadrant section, you land your plane there, you're going to walk in, and you're going to say, hey, listen, I'd like a suck job. And then mm -hmm. a, a robot comes out who's orange, and she's going to suck it for you. All right, so hold on a second. Here's the next question. Do you have to pay that robot $130,000 to keep its mouth shut? Actually, you have to pay it $130,000 to keep its mouth open. <laughs> it's the other way around, filthy. That's right. Oh, so you got to put it like at the slot in the asshole? Exactly. Like All right, I got a question for you, President Trump. Is it... Could you grab them by the pussy over there, or...? Well, there are, there are Martian women here, indeed. And you can grab them by the pussy. That's the only way to greet the women here on Mars. That's why I grabbed that woman by the pussy. That's why I did it. I don't want to use the excuse. Let everybody know it's from Mars. Oh, because yes. oh, because at Mars it's all right by grabbing them. That's by pussy. how you say hello to them here. You grab oh, them by the pussy. Okay. I moved on her like a bitch. You understand? I took her out for <laughs> furniture. We went furniture shopping. I told her buy anything. She was married. I moved on her like a bitch. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Then I grabbed her by the vagina. Next question, because I gotta go. I'm almost hitting the uh, the fourth turn here around the moon. Alright, get him the fuck out of here. Now fuck you, you fucking lame ass fucking hot <laughs> sucker. Fuck up out of here. Ask me one more question there, Filthy. Yeah, uh. Dude, I really don't know what the fucking You're is. You're a yeah. stupid fuck, I swear. Fire yeah, this make, guy. Make Mars great again. Fire these people. Fuck out Listen, of here. make Mars great again. You're right. So we're gonna do 2025, make Mars great again. Oh, hopefully one day we'll all be orange. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Oh! Donald Trump. Yeah, that's right. What's up? I'm Donald Trump. I'm gonna buy this year. Yeah. Start a new branch to the government. I'm pimping shit, bitch. Please hey, got me. Yo, helicopter, helicopter, helicopter. Hey, I'm not Obama. I'm a helicopter. Hey, his wife's got a dip. Fuck that. You can hit a switch, baby, hubcap. Drop it like it's low Drop it like it's low Buddy Chris, you're irrelevant I know you like dick <laughs> You say you like dick Your buddy Chris, you say you like dick You fucking might be Something in a nice fight for our white team You might have to suck the nuts up, you see Buddy Chris, I wanna be a bug inside of me Inside of me yeah, that's right, we're gonna have the pie. Yeah, everybody's in the club right now, doing it up with Doggy South, baby. That's right, coming to your live right there. Yeah. The music just takes a hold of me. I can't take it. All right, what about this poor rapper that died, this young guy? Boy, he's a fucking piece of shit. What are you talking about? Why is he a piece of shit? Yeah, why well, is he? I thought he, he was, was fucking... He was, he was on trial for... He was about to get uh, on trial for uh, beating the shit out of his girlfriend. No, he had statutory rape charges. Well, day. I didn't know about that. You know that? There you go. See, you, he, he was very ready? inspirational See. before he, he died. 
So this you're dude, ready to have like a fucking memorial for him. And this meanwhile, fucking this fucking guy fucked a, he banged he he banged a twelve year old. I mean a thirteen year old. Wow. Yeah, dude. That's and, he was, and he was beating the shit out of his pregnant girl or something. And, like and that. right now they drained all the blood out of his body. They filled it with fucking Jesus formaldehyde. Christ, and his fucking eye sockets are oh, so come on. shut. Supposedly the guy Stop right it. next to him in this photo right here is the guy who they're looking at as like number one suspect right now. He's another rapper too. They call him uh Wood Teeth. <laughs> and uh oh no, I'm sorry, that's not his name. They call him Super Size Fry Hair. They call him <laughs> They call him Wood Teeth. They call him Wood Teeth. <laughs> My name's Woodstein. Oh, Yo, they shit. call me Woodstein. What up, son? They call me Woodstein. They call me Mahogany. They call me Mahogany Oats. You know what I'm saying, man? I know what you're saying, man. He got shot in Miami, and he made a song saying that he talked to the devil in Miami. He looks like it. So everybody now is like, all these conspiracy theories came out as soon as he died. And a lot of people are saying Drake had something to do with it. Drake? Or Slum God. Well, a lot I don't of, even know who Slum God is. Apparently, a, a lot of people didn't like this dude because he was young and he was brass and he used to talk shit. He didn't give a fuck who he talked shit to and that type of thing. So... Yeah, I can see how he has a target on his back, but this young man, you know? Oh, I think before he died, when he made a video, I think it was like his last video I saw on Twitter, it was like he was trying to repent for all the bad shit that he did, and he was trying to, like, you know, reach out to the kids. Yeah, well. And he was saying a lot of nice shit, but who knows? I mean, maybe he was a bad person. Maybe he knew what was going to happen. Well, That's listen, a perfect I, I, fucking tattoo. If, he if, is dumb right now. If, uh... <laughs> if... <laughs> If some I listen, if somebody kills somebody, then I think that person deserves to die. But if this dude never killed anybody or like, you know, I mean, listen, if he statutory raped a thirteen year old kid, that's a different story. Then I don't I still don't <laughs> wish Tommy, calm down, take a shit in a minute. But I don't I don't still don't wish death on the guy, honestly. Um you know, he got they said it was a robbery. That's what they're saying right now. Yeah, but look, they're also saying a lot of these guys that come off SoundCloud, um, you know, when they actually get a record label deal, when they get paid, it goes to their head and then they start to get bigger and bigger and they're always like in debt to these record labels. So a lot of people were saying that he had a lot of beef with other rappers. Yeah, he did. And that's, he did. that's where it led up to him getting shot in Miami. Because he was talking shit about Drake and a bunch of other rappers. Yeah, he was well, talking shit about a lot. To, Drake didn't have nothing to do with it. That dude would probably cry about it. He probably would turn himself he's in. Powerful. Like Drake. Drake is fucking very powerful. What do you mean he's powerful? He's big in the game. Drake's been around for a Bro, while. Bro, he's mean, the most he's soft got rapper. The, he's the most softest rapper yeah, out. Yeah, the dude, the like dude started out on fucking Nickelodeon. Like, come on, how hard could he be? <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's kidding, dude. <laughs> How hard could this guy be? He started out on fucking Nickelodeon, like he was in a wheelchair. Oh shit, yo, Triple X! Watch out, man, run! This is actual footage of him uh, the night he died. They're running right now away from the car. Oh god! That's what got him right there. That's what I got. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, darling. Shoot me. Oh, Let me open up my door. Hello, darling. Oh wow! Oh, this dude God. needs a. This dude needs to power wash his teeth, man. I know. I think those are like they're supposed to be like some kind of fronts. Yeah, what's uh, up with these little face tattoos now? Like, well, let me tell you, bling that's bling that's that's, that's the future of rap right there. Everybody, every young rapper now is getting the face tattoos. It's like the thing to do now, man. Like, do you see that guy Tashaki or yes. Six Nine or Tashiki? What about the dude with the fucking uh, rainbow fronts? That's, that's who you're yeah, talking about, right? That's, that's, the, that's, that's like a lot of them today. Yeah, dude. I like the with style. The Listen, the I do like the style. I got to tell you. I think I think these dudes look cool as fuck with this face. I mean, some of them look cool. A lot of them are, are pretty lame. But This, this one, don't look cool. This one dude has a watch on the side of his face, like a timepiece, which is pretty fat. I got to say, it was pretty cool looking. The way did that you they just did say it. fat? Yeah, I did. Wow. I haven't heard that in... Many that's, how fucking, that's how we roll, son. Why you gotta fucking pull that out, man? And, and like call me out on that. Out, Why you gotta bro? call me on that, bro? Why you gotta call me on that? I'm just saying, I haven't heard it all the time. I'm, fucking I'm, douche I'm, nugget, bro. You're, you're, fucking you're shit breath. Some to me, bro. <laughs> shit breath. <laughs> fuck 
<laughs> I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> Why do you always pack me, dude? Why you just you attacked me, pack man. Me? <laughs> I don't pack you. Look at my You're shirt. Look at my shirt anymore. tonight. Look. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. With the blingy yoke. And I got that hat to match. Yeah, I got the hat to match. And that was a coincidence. I didn't go out and get that shirt and the hat together. My wife bought me the Gina, shirt. Gina said in the chat, fat, the 90s cold. <laughs> I know. That's what, what I'm saying. I, say? I just haven't heard it in a while. That's all. That was the 90s, right? We were saying that, that early. That we, I used to say it all the time. Yo, that's fat, bro. That's fat. That's just fat, But bro. that's when we were like 18 and like the older people would be like, fat? Why are you guys fucking saying? You sound like idiots. Now it's lit. Yo, that's lit, bro. Yeah, it always changes. That's it, so lit. It was. It started off in the '60s with "That's boss." <laughs> that's boss. That's <laughs> boss. And that's then it went to. Shit. And then it went from like boss to that's cool. And cool has been used throughout all the eras. You can use always. cool every anytime you want. Cool does not go out of play. Cool is always oh, going to be there. Yes, Sunday boy. <laughs> oh. You're going to get the pudding pop with the Clara Farm in it. You take the Clara Farm with the Clara Farm. My son in his loves the pudding Clara Farm pop. The pudding Clara Farm. Fuck you with the bop. Ken, please tell US you're going to introduce the girls at the strip club Saturday night. Yes, I am. On her way to the dance floor. Yes. Give it up for Tiffany. Yep. G -A -G. I'm going to be like, oh, oh yes, Sunday boy. You're going to get the pudding pop with the Clara Farm in it. You That's right take the Clara Farm with the pudding pop. Ah, my son in his loves the pudding Clara Farm pop. Ah, fuck you in the butt. <laughs> rap isn't trap anymore. Tupac is rap. Bigger is rap. DMX. These kids now are trash. Tommy is a better at rapping than them. Oh, God, no. I doubt that, but... Hey man, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta respect you for bringing up DMX. Man. Saturday night, we're gonna be like, and coming down to the stage right now is Tiffany. She's about 400 pounds, like short walks on the beach because she can't breathe and loves eating lobster with a lot <laughs> sure. of butter. That's Tiffany. She loves eating lobster with a lot of butter. Long walk, I mean, very short walks because she can't breathe. Damn. And she weighs about 735. Did you see the, the the world's fattest lady they showed on the internet the other day? No. Oh what is she like? Eight hundred pounds? Oh my god, dude! Like, I gotta show Yo, you. Yo, how is that even possible? I don't know, man. But shout out to Blake Seriously. for sending me some fucking wall, fucking just walrus looking ass bitch. Can, guys, but we how haven't. How is that physically possible? We haven't seen Tiffany in a while, guys. This is her as of a month ago. Nah, I'm just kidding. That's fucked up. But look <laughs> at that. <laughs> how does that? That is happen, not fucked dude? up, dude. I'm sorry. Oh, that's fucked up. The fucking so heavy, I almost dropped the fucking phone. Why, is her, left, why does her left leg look so much bigger? Because she has walrus leg. It's like something that Or is happened. that elephantitis? She's got elephantitis okay. leg. Look. Look at that, bro. Is that a tumor? Oh, my God, bro. I think it's a third leg. You know what I think it is? I think it's that guy. Um, that looks like a uh, swollen thumb. Look, there's a mouth there, a nose, eyes. Look, that's like, hello. Boy. All of a sudden, a knee's just going to open up and be like, hello. Would you please feed me? Would you please feed me? A fucking fucked up. fucking knee's gonna open wide open and go. Give me some steak now. You must feed my big liver. My fucking. <laughs> you must feed your garbage pail tuna. A tumor that you have there. <laughs> tumor. She's a person. You must feed your garbage pail tumor that is coming out your thigh. But anyway, she wants to lose weight for her wedding. So they can't operate on her because she's just too big. But they're going to... Oh, shit, hold on. Whale alert. 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 Cuddy Chris dropped out once tonight. Whale alert. Uh -oh. Who's got the over on that? That's one. Whale alert. Mr. Mellow Yella. Um, yeah, so you got one drop out tonight. You know, I lost last week. I said you were gonna go over four. We were wrong. It was at three. So so what is the over under right now? Uh, right Filthy, now the, the over is the over is four. The under is you know four. Under four. Yeah. Yeah. 
So I'm right. saying you're going to go under tonight. Even though you All dropped right. out early right now, I still say you're going under. Filthy, what do you think? Over or under? Three. Over or under filthy. It's all on. All right. So you're Lucky. on the under? I, I said yeah. under every time. All right. Under every time, right. huh? Really? No, under every time. Uh, yep, I am. Fuck you. <laughs> you're a dishonest cunt. That's uh, pretty much what I tink of you. You know what I tink? What I'm I tink. I tinkin'. Um, but yeah, so he was eight years old. Listen, let's get back to let's get back to this because um, my Rap. friend just texted me. He was like, "You got to talk about that shit more with the space thing." Okay, is this money? This money is obviously going to come out of the American pocket, right? Tax along. dollars, and, yeah. obviously, and that's yeah. what they're going to build this whole thing with is the American dollar, right? And it's yep. going into Boeing's pocket, Union Carbide's pocket, the same fucking people, military industrial complex. Lockheed Martin. Uh, yeah, Lockheed Martin. I mean, same like, motherfuckers. Really, man? Seriously? Northrop Grumman. God, All right, my yeah, question dude. is this, though. What is our plan? That's what, well, well, they're telling you they're going to go and they're going to fucking stop asteroids from hitting us. But, I mean, come on. We both know that's bullshit. Uh, but what's the plan, though? Are we going to develop new spaceships and, yeah, you know? Yeah, yes, that's what, <laughs> he did say that. Well, he I told you, I mean, said, you know, I don't really need <laughs> to <tell> you, <laughs> some you can't refuse from Papa, I'm your daddy, and I love you, son, you are my one only child, my son, my first masculine son, oh, come to Papa. Uh -oh. Tiffany's pussy is so stretched out that her left leg is still way too small to fuck her. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Wow. That was harsh. <laughs> that is so fucked up, man. <laughs> um, so apparently this guy goes fucking Randy Savage on a fucking crocodile. Do you want to see this real a quick? Crocodile. Yeah, check this out. Go, 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 oh, this is go, old. Go, go, go. Is it? Yeah. Bull fucking shit. Was that even real? I don't know. Is that even I don't know, real? That fat motherfucker, man. He can't get out. Was that even real, though? Come on now. Go, 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 That's a bunch of bullshit. Nobody is jumping. Steven German. Steven fucking German. Steven German. Just a tip hashtag monetize belt this week. Oh, Steven, were you in the belt this week, my friend? <laughs> the burgers. I don't think so. The burger. Oh, yes. The burgers. Oh, the burger. I'm to get the pudding pop with the Clara farm in it. You broke it. Clara farm with the pudding pop. The one. The one in the slums. The pudding Clara farm. Broken wire. Fuck you in the back. That's great. Bagada, bagada, bagada. Hey, everyone at Foul Mouths, Ken Filthy, and those other guys. But if aliens were to come here, they would wrap us. But they don't fuck or come how we come. They have tentacles growing out their toes and come loads of acid. Guys, get ready for acid <laughs> footages. <laughs> acid <laughs> footages. <laughs> I can suck five oh, once. shit. The Broken man, fucking man, lion. And look who this is. The one and only Gorilla Gorilla baby. Gorilla strong baby. Gorilla baby. She still makes Tommy fat. Guys, I believe we have found where the fourth one is. <laughs> oh, Shout out no. to the chat and to my nickel can. Ah, nickel. Filthy and the wow. new guy. You're a fucking legend, man. Oh, shit. Yeah, fucking. That's right, Mr. Gorilla Strong, baby. Get it strong. Be real strong. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Gotta get it strong, baby. Mr. Yeah, Gorilla Strong, baby. Gorilla Strong, baby. Oh, yeah. oh, got the Gorilla Strong, baby. Wish I was strong like Gorilla Manila. They call him Gorilla Manila. 
And shout out to Broken Lion too. Um, got little Mac on the line. Hey. Now look who we got. Shots fucking fired. Christian in the house. Yeah, What's up? Man? Shots oh. fired. What's up, man? Hey, I I didn't get to catch your E3 episode yet. I didn't get to watch it yet, but, but I'm going to. I, oh, that, you don't know what fuck. you're missing. It was a hell of an episode, <laughs> yes. man. Shout out to the one and only Himmelfarben Garden, and uh, he he fucking ripped it up on that episode, man. He <laughs> knows his shit. Very lucky to have him along for that episode, man. Definitely check it I, out. What's up? I don't know if you guys talk about talked about Smash Bros. The new Smash coming yes, out. Yes, they yeah, talked about it. Character you want to use? They talked There's about one. it. Yeah, <laughs> that's my main. I won tournaments with him. Oh shit! Yeah, I can't wait for this shit. I'm not going to school. I'm not talking to anybody when that game comes out. When's your fucking prom, guy? It was yesterday. Oh, did, yo, uh, why are they having? Pr- it's funny. I was driving around all day today. I was working. Why are proms during the weekday now? Seriously, that's what I was just about to say. Uh, is there any I, reason for that? Did they tell you, like, you know, why? Because my prom is on a Friday. See, they, they they never told us why, but I my inkling is the thought is they don't want. <laughs> they don't want like people <laughs> s- sneaking shit in like alcohol or drugs, uh, but that's gonna happen anyway. Yeah, what difference does it make from a Dude, from a Tuesday or a Wednesday no or a Friday? No idea. That's Maybe the I'm after thinking. party they're trying to stop. Yeah, that's gay. Uh, Dude, like, do you have to go to school tomorrow now? No. Oh, okay. Fucking you, moves. You want to be a legend? Fuck the cafeteria lady. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that's sexy. That's my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, double, that's a double whammy. <laughs> that's perfect, <you> know? <laughs> and when you fucking stick it in, she's gonna go. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, she's gonna go. Oh, how was you? <laughs> how was it, it, it was pretty good. It was, it was good. Very so, good. It was, how was the was huge uh, success? How was the but date? The thing is, how was the date? Right. How was it the was date? very good. The day. Good, How was the check? Right How was the check? It was very good. It was nice. It was it, it, you're talking about a girl right now. You're talking about a girl. You're like, it was, it was very good. It was, it was nice. It was, an it was a successful. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was a successful evening. It was <laughs> a girl. It was very <laughs> nice. It was a very quarterly evening. Very magnificent. Uh, no, it was, it was an 8 out of 10. Wow. Oh, my God. It was an 8 out of 10. That's and great. <laughs> what, made it, what made it so good? He started firing off. I don't he, was, know. he started get fucking machine gun. <laughs> that was his problem. It was it was like this. See, see listen, 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 I left. Listen, I didn't even I didn't even go back to the house. I left because I wanted to go play Smash Bros. at the Nintendo New York store today. He's loving it. Oh so. my god. <laughs> So you bailed so that fast to go play Smash Brothers? Listen, listen, you you could be God. I will bail on you to go play that game. Oh my god, oh, really? You, you could be so the you second. you bailed on your prom? At it's the end of it. Yeah, I, it is... I was there. Right, so was it, it was the, the end prom. already. It was the end. <laughs> 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 so then how can you say it was an amazing night? It was, you know, you didn't even No, because I was there for most of it. I left after like the last, I left. Like the last twenty five minutes. He I shoots doing he drink. Oh! <laughs> what? No, because I like watching people. I like watching other people do it because it's funny. So you didn't do and it. I, right. Listen, I remember so many people and I'm gonna fucking shit on everybody now and it's great. Why? What do you mean? I've recorded like my friends doing dumb shit that they would never do in their life. Oh I like and, that. What are you doing touching my dick? Shit. I like that shit. <laughs> Um, yeah, you probably got good footage of that, man. I remember going oh, yeah. out footages. I remember going out with my, my video camera for the first time. <laughs> I got a video camera back in like 94. My parents bought it for me for my birthday. And I remember fucking videotaping everything, 94. dude. 1994, man, yep. I, remember I, I used fucking, to videotape me fucking my first girlfriend. I used to videotape you fucking your dog. You remember that? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No? Uh, you don't remember that? <laughs> no, asshole. No, Fuck please. yourself. Wow. Wow. You all right? Yeah, wow, nothing. You all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. You all right? Good. Take it easy, all right? Take it easy. We got a full tank of dicks. Um, yes, we do have oh, a full Oh, did you hear panel. about the breaking news today? What? What's that? That uh, Disney is 
basically on the final step to acquiring Fox. Yes, I did hear that. That means, yeah, that's... Control, that means Star Wars, they have control of the old Star Wars. And that and also means... X-Men. Yep, that yeah, also X-Men means that Deadpool. X-Men and Deadpool and all that and shit Fantastic Four and will all be them. in the Avengers. Big news. Star Wars, they get in rid the of Avengers. They're going to stop doing fuck Star Wars story movies. They're going to just fuck. Yeah, why'd they say they were postponing like all... Star suck. Wars, uh, Star- really? Is that why? Basically, they're not doing good in the ratings. It said, really, yeah, but they but expected like, it to do better. So they thought they thought that Solo was going to be like this big fucking thing, right? Oh, I think God. Star Wars. I hate it personally, but I think Star Wars is having like the Call of Duty. Oh Assassin's Creed yes, effect. Sunday boy, Mr. Right. Foul Mouth Bobby, pop with Mr. Clara, Show Clara, Your Titties Clara, on a Saturday Clara, night. Clara, Mr. Show them titties on a Saturday night. My son in his loves the pudding cloud from Pop. Fuck you and Pop. My son in his loves the pudding. My Predators is on NHL 19 cover, and how fucking hard is it to find a normal relationship? Him about to give up. Can somebody please help me find my penis? I think it's dead. Oh, come on. Your penis is not dead, Falma Bob. It's there. Go on Tinder. But listen. Dude, I found your dick. It's in. West Kassantian. It's in West. <laughs> you have to pick it up. It's in West Kassantian. Send a fucking uh, slab lab or whatever the fuck they call it now. The uh, listen, Bobbit. I cannot believe that your Predators are on the cover of the NHL. Why? And no disrespect to you, but why would they put the Predators on there when Vegas is the new team in the league and had a run like they had to the Stanley Cup Finals, and they don't put True. them on the fucking cover? How do you not put right. either them or the Washington game? Now, listen, no, granted, the Capitals have been on the cover a million times. Ovechkin's been on the cover a million times. I get that. But put Vegas on there. Why the fuck wasn't Vegas on the cover of the NHL? I have no clue. But I'm pr- I'm happy for you, though. I am. If you're, a, if you're a fan of them and they finally made it to the cover. But I think they were on the cover at one point, or else Pekka Rene was on the cover at one point. I don't know. I think it was one of them. But anyway, Christian, we, what else you got for us? Anything else? Um... I just gotta say, uh, how do you feel about this new space thing that Trump's doing? Listen, adding a new I branch think, of the government in. What do you feel about that? Listen, I'll tell you right now, the space force. Listen, I think he's thinking toward the future. I think he's whacked out of his shit. <laughs> I, I'm, I mean, you do? this is. I'm, I mean, this is like 50, 40, 50 years in the future, probably. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's the guy who but, got it. He's got the. He's the going to be the guy who got it started. I, I, you know. I respect. I respect him from thinking ahead. Cause you know it's you know it's coming. You know it's gonna happen. Yeah. Well, I, I want to see what people think. There's a barrage think. of spaceships. I want to see what people think out there, uh, guys. Call the number. I'm gonna I'm gonna go through some rapid phone calls here. If you start calling now, um, and tell us what you think, whether this is on the up and up or not. Whether this guy really did this to block fucking asteroids coming this way or whatever the case may be. Because I, I don't believe that shit for a second. I don't Listen, know about you guys. I, 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 so. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But I'll oh, tell you right now. Oh, yes, Sunday boy. Oh, shit, Mr. Himmelfarb. Pop with the Clara Farm in it. You take the Clara Farm with the pudding. Hey, I'm going to be in this love is the pudding Clara Farm. Pop da. Fuck you and my. If I had a choice between Smash Brothers and Pussy, I'd choose Pussy every time. Every time. The Himmel God has spoken. Same here. Yeah. Anyway, hey, no whatever. what are you going to do, man? Smash Brothers is a big part of life. Yes, yes, it I'll is. be smashing, but not brothers. Anyway, Christian, <laughs> Christian, thanks for calling in, brother. I, it's well, been a while since we heard from you, man. Yeah, yeah, I've been doing shit. Yeah, I figured you were busy. Yeah, it's a big time of the year for you guys, man. You know, younger dudes. You yeah, know? well, um, yeah. I just got to say, um, uh, first of all, go fuck yourselves. Thank um, you. Wow. And that's coming like from always. Cocky Point. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. And um, with I just gotta say, with this fucking E3 that yeah. happened, yeah, I don't know what. Could, I I just want to ask what games that you saw there that you're excited. Well, to play. I'll tell you, Christian. I'm they covered Spider-Man. Game. They covered 25 games on the on the uh, on that uh, yeah. mega podcast that they did a review of E3. So they covered almost every game. I mean, if you name it, they covered it. Um, yeah, and they they talked about Smash Brothers for a while, right? Uh, Chris, um, yeah, Smash Brothers was actually the last game we talked about. Yeah, so yeah. well, yeah, it was the last thing shown. So yeah, it was my yeah. shit. 
I actually just picked up a new game today called Detroit Become Human. It's like a movie, yeah. but you yeah, play it. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh That's my pretty God. cool. It's, it's kind of like, it's kind of, it seems like kind of like Heavy Rain. Almost, yeah. That's pretty yeah. cool. The, I the like graphic, that. The graphics are out of this world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're the best I've ever seen in the game. I just yeah, wish, I like drop in Heavy I Rain. I really wish pictures. that they would just make something like Halo was, man, and how fun that was to play that with three of your buddies. Like, that was, oh, that was the best. That was the best, man. And then Call of Duty was good for a while, too, after Halo. World of War got played out though. Well, World of like, War was the best. That was the like best you, that game. Like what were you saying with the Star Wars of how how Star Wars is failing right now? Yeah. That's how yeah. I think Star Wars is failing because it's doing what Call of Duty and and Assassin's Creed did. They make they make a new thing every year. And no, if Lucas was still, still on, it. it would just be as good every time they made a movie. It's, it's because he's, it's because Lucas left. Yeah, but Lucas was a bum. Yeah, but Lucas no. made Lucas made those three movies in the nineties that sucked. Yeah, not only that, he went back to the original ones who nobody had a problem with and started fuck with them. Yeah. It's That's still better than what they're putting out now. That was fucking blasphemous. You don't touch those original three fucking movies. That's ridiculous. That's like he's, the South Park he's episode. He's a fucking fat-headed... No, I, was, I was just thinking cunt. that. Yeah, yeah it's out. Yeah. That, the, the re-re-release with the walking yeah. dog. Yeah. We'll do a re-re-re-re-re-release. <laughs> yeah, sounds like Tommy. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh my god, a re-release. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, well, Christian. Really, uh, see you guys. Uh, right, right. I'll talk to you soon, man. Fired. Peace Play out, Christian. Shot what are all these shots I have, Christian? Get, him. get some summer pussy. Get some summer pussy. Yeah, some. <laughs> I used to love summer pussy, bro. Summer pussy. There's nothing like some good summer pussy. Nah, man. It's in the it's summertime hot. and it's pussy. Well, you sweaty, you fucking all nasty. Yeah, guys, the the, toll, the, the phone lines are open. Uh, 516 554 0002. American Janice bosses you, bitch. Oh, shit. Don't you ever talk back to me like this. <laughs> I'll smack a bitch right now. I'm Sean fucking Connery. Sean Nicky. I'm fucking double O. Shut on your fuck. You take pushies and. Cunts for 500. I'll take pushies and cunts for fucking 500. You sons of bitches. Don't you ever fucking talk back to Sean fucking Connery. Pushies, Americans, and these fucking waters. You want to be in these fucking waters, you bitch? I'll smack your fucking... Congrats to Admirals Alan Beckerin for winning the Vezine Not Trophy. Also great show, Ken. Thank you, brother. The one and only Sig Nicky's, man. Thank you, brother. Uh, who's, who we got on the line right now? Who do we got? First of all, Ken, that um, oh, God, thing was oh, here he is. Oh, Wait, did? Without saying, without saying, oh God, a thousand times, Ken. I'm trying to say something nice. Oh God! Right? Oh God! That video oh, God. game. Uh... Oh God! <laughs> That's oh, not God. me. That's not me. See what you oh, did, God. <laughs> nah, go ahead, go ahead. Right. That Game Boy background thing you have is fucking badass, dude. That is that is That's awesome. pretty cool, I right? That. Don't worry, twenty Bro, other people is, out. Plenty of people will have it by Thursday. Giving compliments tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I always give compliments. Hey, Ken, did you hear the um, thing I'm sending in to Conan for tomorrow morning? I mentioned you and Cronin, and it'll be heard by millions of people on the West Coast morning. <laughs> no, I didn't hear it, dude. I well, if you um, what are you doing? You're gonna be, <sighs> are you gonna be? Are you gonna be? Are you gonna be MC of the week? Yeah, I'm MCing for the week over there. <laughs> Christ, can I can't get a word in edgewise? <laughs> I'm not doing I anything, dude. Nice to these people. I'm not doing. You don't anything, know how to man. do anything nice. Jesus Christ, uh, dude. Honey, Chris, dude. You guys were going at it on Twitter. On Twitter. I had, yeah, dude. You, you're you're a bit, bro. Shut the fuck up. Oh, yo, yo listen, young man. If I were you, I won't even mention it, man. But you you better just watch your step, dude. I'm telling you right now. Otherwise, dude, you I'll lay your whole shit. shit. I'll lay your whole shit out on him. I'll lay your whole shit on live, bro. Uh -oh. You ain't got nothing on me, fella. Oh no? You don't think so? Tough guy. Wow. Get some bag. Once you go ahead, hey, listen. Once you go ahead, since you're since you're mad because Delta Water is out, uh, that doesn't even make any sense, bro. So wow! Put the cigarettes out and pop the head. <laughs> Fuck up. Wow! Fucking scumbag. Keep going. Keep going. Fucking asshole. Wow! 
<laughs> bro, you really, you know that you know the fucking Thor's that I have on my head. You, you got Thor? You got I Thor on your head? I, I can't even hear what you're saying. What he are you said saying? he got Thor on his head. I got Thor's on my head, man. Why you got, oh, yeah. why, you got why you got threat. sores on your head, threat. dude? Why you got it's from Tourette's? That's from, that's from people putting cigarettes threat. out in your fucking head. <laughs> Fucking scumbag! How dare you go there? You I don't shit. give a fuck, bro. Fuck you. Dude, I don't give. You know what? At least you haven't brought up. Bro, I'll, I'll, yet, I'll so. troll a troll, bro. Shut the fuck up. I'm I'll not troll a troll. Life, this is real life. I will fold yeah, this you is like real a life. Towel. Yeah, okay. I'll fold you like a paper towel. I'll fold you. I'll fold you, yeah, fold like, you like a, lawn like a paper chair. towel. You me? I'll wrap oh you up like God. a garden hose. You shit. Like a garden hose. I'll a turn garden. you into a garden hose. One of those shitty New York. Gumbag garden hoses you see raveled up. What? Oh! And how would you know anything about New York garden hoses? <laughs> I've, been there once. I've been there once. And you, oh, went, and, there you once? and you actually came into yeah. contact with a garden hose when you were here? Yeah, when I met LeBron James, when I went to uh, see the stars, that's when I go to New York. Did he have a uh, did he have a garden hose when you saw him? Or what? The were they you... putting cigarettes out on your head? <laughs> they were all like, "Yo, He's you're Republican." Yeah, those, they were all like this. Yo, 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 LeBron, yo, LeBron was like this. Hey, yo, y'all, come over here. Put your cigarette butts out on this white dude's head. Come on, oh, come on. <laughs> this shit is fun, yo. This yeah, shit is fun, man. Yo, 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 y'all, come head. over here. Y'all, come over here. This white boy, let, let's put cigarettes out on him. <laughs> ridiculous. <Come on. laughs> no, but seriously, Cunning Chris. What? <laughs> what? I hope I hope you um I hope you wake up next to a corpse tomorrow morning. Oh, you know oh my god. All right. Dude. I hope you take down your fucking address information off your refrigerator oh, next time shit. you make a fucking oh. <laughs> get him. Go for favor and go delete those videos before I tell everyone how to fucking look at your address. Oh no. Ow. You want to keep well, going? Got him. Oh, you keep going. No. Hold on a minute. You want to keep going, ashtray head? Shut your <laughs> fucking mouth. <laughs> Seriously, dude, shut your fucking mouth. You don't know who you're fucking with. I am yeah. way too advanced for you. He called oh, him on. Young, you know, young, man, you know, just, you wait, wait. wanted to go there. All right, stop now. Stop, stop. young, around. young. We're going to see yeah, young. joking around Ken. Young's going to be the, uh, young, hey, young, 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 young. Young's going to be the guest MC over on Conan's channel. Go check him out all this week over there. Young, I'll talk to you, man. Listen, kind of Christian Godson, I love you. I love you. Yeah, you gotta go you delete those videos, asshole. He loves you, man. Exactly. I'll go home and get your fucking shine box. Oh. <laughs> get in the fuck out. Jesus Christ, man. Oh my God, man. All right, so uh, another thing we wanted to talk about today was um, the fact that these guys take their cocks and they tuck it into their assholes, and it looks like a vagina in the that? front. And it's happening all over these memes. Every single meme is is a, is a dude with tits that looks like a chick. And then all of a sudden, you see a vagina right in front of your face. And then all of a sudden, a fucking cock whips out from under it uh, and hits you in the fucking camera. Now, why? Why is that? Why is that happening all the time? There's know, like fucking like 50 trending. of these videos. Yeah, it's trending, dude. It is. It's the weirdest shit, bro. It's pretty weird. You never get, I mean, you're getting fooled all the time now. You never know, man. Listen, you got to have something to jerk off to. I mean, what the fuck? You got to have something. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. All right. Yeah, you're right. All right. You know. Turn down your fucking radio, cocksucker. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, what's the deal with this movie, uh, monthly subscription? Yeah, it's pretty what cool, the, man. No, I, I, I want to know, man. I want to go to movie theater. Oh, yeah. What's well, $20 a month, right? Well, yeah. they already had Sell movie pass. Me. They already had movie pass. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But what's oh, special yes, about this one? I'm hearing that this one is... Ah, uh, shit. Mr. Broken Lawyer. Broken Lawyer. Broken Lawyer. Broken Lawyer. Fuck you in the butt. In all seriousness, but if aliens come here, they're going to look like something we would not imagine. And but the way I got my finger stuck in my ass and I can't get it out, someone help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. 
Uh, yo, what's up, Mellow Yellow? What's up, Mellow? one and only. Is it safe? It's safe, man, as long as you're not farming. <laughs> you might get a, or young Republican. You get a fucking uh, cease and desist. Now, what's it's going on? It's just me. It's just the Mellow. Hi. It's just Mellow hey. as Mellow. What's up, man? There I am. What's going I'm on? Mellow the Pirate. What's going down, Mellow? Oh. Just uh, listening to the show. I want to join the Space Force. I want to get the fuck out of here. What do you think of that? Yeah. You think you think that's uh, you think we're going up there to stop fucking uh, asteroids? I was actually doing a lot of research on this, and I found uh, a couple things. David J. Buck is the head of the Space Force Agency. Yeah. And they've been talking about doing something and funding it since 1998. Yeah, it's been yeah. Nobody, yeah, nobody. It's been, it's been uh, in talks for that long. It's been in talks. There's, there's a whole bunch of paperwork that's. Uh, oh, oh, hold on. When you dance me, After that, just take my money. Cheer is not so new, guy. <laughs> Not so new guy. <laughs> not so new anymore. So, so you did the research on this, and they've been trying to fund this since 1998, which I remember hearing something about that as well. Um, and it seems like Trump is the one who finally pushed it through. It's, it's the time frame. I mean, in 2010, they may, met again about this and did a whole bunch of requests and reports and documentation. And, and in 2020, fucking... it's saying 2020 is when it's officially going to be like taking uh, uh, launch. All right, so where the fuck crazy. are we getting the money for it? It's us. I don't know, That's Frank where Jay. we're getting it. We're getting it from us. I mean, dude, this it. thing has to cost like trillions of dude, dollars it's, to dude, develop it's going on, spaceship It's shit. going on the credit card again, right? <laughs> it's right. dead. It's all dead. You're right. It's going on the credit card again with $20 trillion in debt. But like, how how much get ready to be twenty five trillion dollars? How much does those uh you know the ships that we already send you know NASA? How much do those cost? Oh, I I don't know, but a lot. Well, NASA is using a lot of private that. companies now. We discontinued the fucking space shuttle. I, yeah, I know, because, I, no, I know that, but I'm saying what what did it cost back in the day? Like how much oh, was? I have no fucking clue. A but, space shuttle launch? Yeah, like you know the space oh, shuttle in it's general. It's expensive, bro. Uh, it's but that's there. what I'm saying, and yeah. that was from you know. Now we're gonna develop fucking spaceships. Yeah, they're saying anywhere from 200 million or no, 450 yeah, to 450 million, million. Yeah, no, dude, they're gonna do it, man. I'm telling you, they're gonna spend the money. Oh, each. Yeah, each yeah. space shuttle. Oh, okay, each. I thought you meant like it, that's their budget. It's fun. No, no, each until 2011 was 450 million per mission. Oh, oh okay. shit! It's it's funny. We never have money for the little guy. We never have money for healthcare. We never no, have border no. college. We we dump money into shit that we probably don't even need. Honestly, yeah, we I'm always you, yeah. always have money for weapons. We there's always have money for that. There's something more to it. I know? agree. That's oh, what I'm is. saying. It's got to be more than just us going up there to fucking stop. Yeah, asteroids it's, it's, that never hit us. I mean, asteroids hit us all the time, it's, but it's nothing significant. You know what I mean? It's not about asteroids. You no, know? it's and, not. And that's, I mean, there's one little section here that's talking about asteroids, but it's really talking about uh, taking over moon bases. Yeah, they want to build a moon base. And, yeah. Like, it's not there already. I think what they're doing is they're getting nervous that, like, Japan and Russia and all these places are like, hey, Japan just announced that they're going to build a brand new, their own space station up there pretty yep. soon and it's gonna be state of the art like fucking unbelievably cool like 3d printers shit. for food like sick shit yeah it's gonna be insane Three so I, yeah i think i think, think we're, I think we're mining right. asteroids like land we on are. an asteroid and mine it well they are gonna they, they have the first they have the first um planned asteroid landing um coming up in like i think they said 20 25 or somewhere in there the first like a legit like landing on an asteroid they're gonna do it they're i think like... it's 2020 or 2021 is uh because i think we already sent it and it's no far. they're gonna know they're gonna have humans land on it oh yeah that's what they they want to have Here's humans land on this shit first try and everybody's dead <laughs> well dude i mean <laughs> that like happens <laughs> that that happens because you've seen that in all the apollo missions i mean you know you don't know when these people you saw what was the last one it was columbia 
fucking yep. you know came right. into the atmosphere and just challenger went to, went to pieces listen, yeah yeah the this challenger in the happen. 80s they're gonna go to they're gonna go to land on the fucking asteroid and this is what's gonna happen Game over. Yeah, that's probably what's actually going to find Pac Man living there. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine that? And then the Chinese guy will come out and be like, I love you, Pac Man. <laughs> I just built this Pac Man. I'm a your daddy, you motherfucker. You. Aerosmith will save us. Yeah. Aerosmith will be like, Yeah. 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 I could see it right here. That was a good movie. In the that was a good movie. Loving it up, baby. I'm living it up and I'm going. No. Um, living it up? You're licking it up. That's why, that's why it, it was up. so good. It was so far fetched. It was so fucked up. I'm slurping it up when it's going down. Um, Are you li- living the elevator? Hold on a second. I will not be researching Flat Earth, so go fuck yourself. What, the flat earth, flat earth shit? Somebody put that in the chat. I will not. All right, so listen. So listen, let me tell you something about the flat earth shit. I gave it a chance, okay? I'm not going to disregard shit and not go look at it and study it and see what I come up with. So I went into this whole thing. One of my friends who believes in, in the flat earth theory told me, go check out this dude's DVD, uh, not DVD, his, his recording on YouTube about flat earth and how he explains everything behind it, okay? You sit there and you listen to this hour and a half documentary about flat earth and he makes a lot of fucking sense on it a lot of sense but if you're using the correct words and you're spinning things a certain way you can make anybody really believe anything if they don't research it here i could debunk it in two seconds you ready it's 10 o'clock where we are it's dark out right in california it's seven o'clock and guess what the sun's up if it was fucking flat it'd be dark every fucking where well, they, they, of course, he has these theories against that and why, you know, why it's like, you but, know, but he, it is. There's mountains, yeah. filthy. There's and, mountains. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, dude, that means every swinging dick in every country and every government are all on the same page. Yeah, we got to fucking make believe it's round, bro. Make I know, I know. <laughs> it's I know. one big conspiracy. Every it's single shuttle big... that got put in the, These in, in the atmosphere. These people can't know that Earth's flat. Yeah, yeah, but look, every single spaceship that got put in the atmosphere said, don't take regular pictures so it'll show like this whole like fucking uh, the ice walls. I love how they tell you, there's the ice walls holding in all the water. Like, oh, my God. I'm like, come on, what do we live in, a pit? Like, get the fuck out of here. And then they're like, oh, I that's... wish Earth was flat. It would be make it a lot easier to get around. That's why they won't let anybody into Antarctica because they're afraid that, you know, we're going to unfoil this Fine, fucking dude. huge plot. That You the, can't go you know, into Antarctica because someone will bomb you. Everybody wants to take over Antarctica. It's not safe. Yeah, exactly. It's like Wild West in Antarctica. Like, that's why... That's There's why no they, rules. There's no laws no, in Antarctica. No, there isn't. And you can do whatever the fuck you want. And that's part of the reason why... They, and you know, man, we've had a base in Antarctica already. I saw this whole documentary yeah. on that base we built in, like, the... 50s in Antarctica and China yeah and well yeah and, and, and German Germany was there during the second world war and like you know so I mean there's been people that have been over there and shit and I'm listen all right the flat earthers you want to believe the earth is flat that's your business you can believe whatever you fucking want I know the world is is round and every other fucking thing out there that we find in in outer space is round too except for an asteroid maybe I mean, everything else is fucking round, right or wrong. Yeah, every it's planet. Right. So how could all those like, other ones be round and not ours? Like, I just fucking, it's just, round. it's just weird. The moon, well, the moon is round. The fucking sun is round. Well, some of them depends on the person. They say the moon is a projection that it's not even real. Oh yeah, well I've heard oh, that. We like, we're show, yeah, we're in Truman, 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 Truman show, 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 show now. Show. Yeah, we're in Truman show. At any moment, the fucking sun is just gonna. I love when people say, "Look at this glitch in the sun." I I videotaped the the sun glitching. And I'm like, are you fucking, like, it's called a cloud, you fucking idiot. Like, seriously, it's called a fucking cloud. Jericho, like, listen, fuck, I'll, I'll listen to any uh, conspiracy, but when it comes to that flat earth shit, it's it's a fucking joke. Oh, yeah, dude, seriously. You know? Yeah, dude, Look is. at the guy that fucking jumped, that he, sc- he was skydiving from the fucking atmosphere. He faked it, too? Oh, the Red Bull? Oh, that, yeah. that jump was fucking awesome. That I just... Was- I let I uh shit myself. I let um I, I just showed that jump to uh to um Lucky Low. He never seen that. Yeah, that, that jump. Crazy. I saw that one. Yeah, that thing was that was sick. Yeah. Lucky Low never saw that jump, man. I was so surprised when he said that. I was like, You never seen this jump, the red bull jump, man? You like, made the people jumping out of the planes. That jump was fucking awesome, bro. That jump was awesome. That guy's got the record now, I'm pretty sure, right? 
Oh yeah, yeah. that's the fucking. He went, he went as far as you can until you start flying. Yeah, you know. until you start yeah floating yeah, in the just, fucking oh, atmosphere. Oh, by Earth, and I'm I'm out. Yeah, I'm, and we were watching all <laughs> kinds of shit on on um on uh, like the world's largest like longest jumps and like all that shit, and it was pretty cool, man, to see what these some of these people um have done like jump wise, man, fucking crazy shit. Dude, that's got to be the worst way to die, just to float out into space, and that's it. Oh, that does suck. And you just die from starvation or, or right. water or, yeah. Like, what do you or, mean? Like, you, you're saying, like, you just, you can't hold on to anything and you just fucking. Right, you just you're float done. out. You're done. You're done. just floating Bye. away. You just right, in you a space, right away. space suit and you're like. Yeah, I that think, is I pretty think I up. would just smash my fucking visor in and just die from this stuff. You know what I mean? What? Instead just of like floating around, you saying? Instead of starving to death, just fucking. Oh, what? Freeze? It. You would freeze? Yeah, just freeze. Die instantly. Yeah, boom. Just yeah, smash boom. my fucking. Smash it open. That's it. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. Why, right. why would you put yourself out like that? What, because you might, because yeah, what if you never know? Uh, well, I'm just saying, floating. float around and maybe you'll see ground some ground control to Major go. Tom Filthy yeah. <laughs> <We're gonna> need- <laughs> sitting here. <laughs> We're going to need Major Tom big time because... Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sunday shit, my chloroform, the kid. You're going to get the pudding pop with the chloroform in it. You take the chloroform with the pudding. Pop the sun <laughs> in his loves the pudding cloud from pop da da. I pop used down. to laugh at flat earthers, but I did my research. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't they really that. did fake the moon landing. Well, 9/11 was an inside job. <laughs> Everything you've been taught is a lie. God exists. Do your research before they end net neutrality too. Well, listen, I. I a lot of the things you just said, I definitely believe. Some of them, I don't believe. But, you know, we, we all have our own beliefs. I mean, it is what it is. You know, you can say really half want. of it got cut off. He said that, you know, the moon landing was fake. 9-11 was an inside job. You yeah. know, fucking. And listen, a lot of that shit, yeah, you're right. It, a lot of that shit, you know, you could say. Some of say. the pictures on the moon were faked. That, that's, well, that's they, fact. they already said yes to that. They already definitely yes. said yes, we did because we yeah. the quality sucked. And we redid the photos because we wanted them to be well, special the, and blah, blah, blah. The film blah, blah. wouldn't have fucking lasted up there. Yeah. Well, not only that, some of the photos they got that they thought were great weren't. And they were, like, really bad. So they, they redid them so they'd have those photos ready to well, go. it's not like they went up there with a Canon short shot, for Christ's sakes. They fucking nah, yeah, there. yeah. yeah. I think <laughs> if they just released those crappy photos, people would say, oh, they're fake because they're so crappy. Well, yeah. How well, fucked up is it with Neil Armstrong? I think it was Neil Armstrong. Gave he said a moon rock to one of the heads of a country. Let's say it's fucking Holland. Yeah. And they and they found that it was just petrified wood. They oh no! Totally fucking gave him fake shit. Fucked up, dude. That is so fucked up, man. That's fucked up. Yeah, that is like, pretty fucked up. Like, what the fuck is shit. that all about? That like, is pretty fucked up shit right there, dude. Definitely. The most international uh, gift you can ever do is is fake. Yeah, he's yeah, a man. petrified I, log of shit. That's pretty fucked up, man. You go and give somebody the log of shit. <laughs> and, you, and you say it's a moon rock. <laughs> you ever talk is... about uh, one small step for man, one giant uh, leap for mankind, how it came in HD, the video, yeah, and it got lost? Oh, yeah, is that what happened? Oh, yeah, the, we yeah you... have, that's another thing. We fucking destroyed all the tapes. Yeah, we, it I came saw... into Australia, HD no. quality, and they destroyed the videotape or lost it. Full of shit. And that's when NASA officially came out, that there was a, a high-definition no video answer. of the moon landing. That is just this, fucked up, this man. Is, this is one of the long-last tapes of Neil Armstrong right here. I deserve to be blown first before the fucking security. Before the fucking security. <laughs> you can tell he's drunk there, man, Gibson. Oh, Mel Gibson. Wrecked. Before the fucking jacuzzi. <laughs> jacuzzi. Try saying jacuzzi when you're drunk and it comes out. Jacuzzi. Oh, I can't. Before I can't the fucking, fucking jacuzzi. You try blowing me before the fucking jacuzzi. You don't go in the cold jacuzzi. Turn on the fucking heat in the jacuzzi. I to turn, you're not turning on the heat in the jacuzzi. I want you to blow me in the jacuzzi. <laughs> you blow me in the producers. You put the pudding in you the put producer. You put the pudding and you put the whole fucking pudding pop in the juicy. In the producer. You put it right in the. I'm going to put this finger right in the jabuzzi. 
Sorry. I'll tell you though, that's one of my dreams though, is to be out in space and just see that view. How crazy! Oh yeah, that's amazing. Oh, dude, could you imagine that, man? Well, well, filthy. Maybe you can join the face uh, space force. Well, and that's another thing. What's the deal with that now? What are they going to be taking? Like, are they, I, like anybody could join up, and as long as you meet I've the requirements. Been for that motherfucker like me. I'm going to tell you that right well, now. What, what's the deal with it? Is, is it going to be? I've been looking for applications, and honestly, I was really looking for it hard and wide, and I can't find how to apply for the space force. You said it doesn't come out for a while, right? Oh, well, it's already, yes, it's already boy. Blow me in the jabuzzi. David J. Buck. Right inside John Jabuzzi. Jabuzzi. My son is broken lion. It's going up to love so much, Mr. Broken Lion. The broken lion. Honestly, I think flat eaters are fucking morons. If the earth was flat, how come nobody ever fell off? Hash RIP Vader. <laughs> You're right about that, man. How come no one ever fell off in the whole history Rest in of peace. a flat earth? <laughs> yeah, we got to get on Vader. We're going to get on Vader as soon as we come back from break, and we're going to talk about the great wrestle of Vader as soon as we come back from the break. Um, we're gonna oh, take we're a, doing a break. We're going to take a break in like five minutes, and then uh, like a one or two-minute break, and then we'll come back and we'll discuss Vader. If you're a wrestling fan, you feel you know Vader was uh, especially if you're my age was a special wrestler. The guy wasn't just a run of the mill wrestler, you know. So we'll we'll get on that when we come back from the break. But um, yeah, uh, listen, as long as you suck my dick before we get into Jabuzzi, <laughs> that's all that matters. But what are you up to, uh, Mister uh, Mellow Yellow? How you been, man? I haven't heard from you in like a week or so, a week and a half. We haven't I had seen... a lot of duck dicks to suck, little ducks to dick. <laughs> Ooh, we know? haven't seen you for a while after the whole uh, the whole uh, lawyer incident Blow thing, up. you know. Sometimes you just gotta like lay low. No, I hear that. I totally bit. hear that, man. In that you situation, know, man. I think I would have did the same thing. You got the strap, thing. no coming. I would have think I, I think I would have did the same exact thing because like that was just really weird shit, and you know, um, what are you gonna do? I mean, that was weird. What can you, t- you know, you just. Uh, Move on. You, you just low, keep chucking on, over baby. your head, and uh, you come back as yourself. Yeah, and you do I your guess. thing. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's the way you got to do it, man. You come back as yourself, man. That's as what you myself. do. Myself, me. Come back it's as you, me. bro. No doubt, man. <laughs> Tomorrow, my little girl graduates and goes into um, the next school up, the middle school. Nice. Oh, it's boy. gonna be crazy, man. She like she's growing so fucking fast, man. Eleven. She's gonna be eleven years old. Jeez. I it's, know it's, it's fucking crazy. It's weird man. to think I had my last kid at 11 years old, but I'm pregnant now, as you guys can see. But I'm going to definitely. <laughs> you were 11 when you had your kid. You, had, yeah. you were 11 when you had. And your I'm definitely going to give myself an abortion. I picked out the hanger and everything. I'm just going to wait till I'm at the ninth <laughs> month. Is it rusty? I'm about seven months in right now. Look, but I'm going to wait oh, till look, the ninth month. Just said, just throw yourself down the stairs. There you go. Just throw yourself down the stairs with your championship belt, and then you're done. There you go. Bonito, you don't have to worry about anything. It's all covered under insurance. Bonito. Bonito. San Diego. Um, But yeah, so fucking, that's the way it is, man. You know? That's the way the Cuddy Chris falls. Hey, Cuddy Chris, (laughs) you the new guy or the medium guy or the old guy now? Um, I I think think I'm losing the new guy status a little bit. It's like, it's uh, not so new guy now. Yeah, yeah, maybe not so new guy. Maybe yeah. the medium guy. Medium the guy. The almost new guy. Medium guy is awesome. Yeah, it's the maybe guy. I, I was that. the new guy, Chris. Was you never the new knew. guy. I know. Well, a lot of people that didn't listen to you guys, though, back then. Yeah, don't really don't know who I am. Remember him. Yeah, yeah he's new it, was, it was a while ago, man. It really was. I mean, you know? is, like, we were on, like, episode three of Keeping It 100. Back in the day. Yeah, you know? you're right about that. No, wait, weren't you on? No, you, Chris, you were on with us when we were live, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're we were on. Live. We were on probably when you left back then. I think you did episode like five or six. You were around for of Insomniac. Yeah, yeah. Episode five or six. You were on Insomniac. I'm pretty sure. Right. So that's when you left, and then you didn't come back till probably about. I've been on now for two months now. I yeah, you've been going for a while months. now, man. You have. I've been, I've been, I've been putting in some content. You, you have, guys, dude. Man. You have, and I appreciate it, man. I, I love having you on here. You know what I mean? You give good head. That's the that's the main reason why. He well, gives well, great head. Oh, shit. Did I just... Oh, head. shit. It's all I'm about so, dick. I'm and, sorry, uh, You know. It's all about dick, and uh, look what I bought my daughter. 
for a graduation. <laughs> oh, she don't know. I my daughter. And look, look, she don't even know. But look, guys, look. Can you guys make that out? Look. What is look. it? Oh, ooh, it's gold. Is that necklace? Yeah, it says a name on it. I can't see it though. I know you can't. Let me turn the light on. Hold on. Hold on. You're gonna have a light turned on. Let me see. Can you guys see it now? Better. Oh, okay. Now I can see it. Yeah. Oh, that's, Ooh, cool. that's nice. Oh. She's gonna like it. Nice little thing, right? And that's gold plated. Yeah, it's gold plated. It's nothing like that. That crazy, you know? Like I go. To, I go to this guy that I know, um, this jeweler that's friends of my mother. So he gives me a break on like the prices. Um, and I asked him, what's the difference between it being oh, like... Oh, yes, on, Sunday man. boy. You're going to get the pudding pop with the Clara Farm in it. You the put it together, the, the pudding, with the pudding, pudding, pudding pop. pop. My son in his loves the pudding Clara Farm pop. Pop. in his loves the pudding in his penis. Now, da! The artist formerly known as the new guy. The artist formerly known as the new guy. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Now you need a symbol, Cunny. You know what the difference is? You go and get like a, um, a a bracelet dipped in gold and as opposed to being solid gold is so different, the pricing. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a couple of Gold hundred. is at an astronomic price right now. It is, man. And isn't silver up too right now too? And like, yeah, it is. Everything's it is, right? up yeah. right now. Compared to what it was, yeah, it's up. Even copper, copper's up right copper's now. Copper's going oh, way. And That's aluminum. That's how I got my wife's engagement ring, as I invested in silver. Did you? That was years ago. Went from 18, I bought it at 18, it went up to like 50. Wow. That was a good investment. Yeah, and then I fucking bailed. I got it from like when my grandmother died. Wow. Shit. And then it came all the way to fuck back down. I'm like, thank God I sold it. never this. loses value. About five years ago, I had $400 worth of silver quarters. And I got like, I don't even know, about like 20, dude, Chris, $700. About three years ago, I had about like $700 worth of crack. And we, <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. Now, why are you going to be I'm an sorry. asshole for? What, what do you mean? I wasn't, uh, how am I'm I trying to tell this? a fucking serious story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you want me to go after you next, Are you fucking serious, no. dude? You get, you get cutty slap, bro. Seriously, bro. You I'm will get, you, you will get go cutty right. slap, dude. You'll get cutty. You will get cutty slap, dude. Seriously. All right. I had $700 worth of crack, and I sold it. I know you did. Sold it to you. Did you make money at least? Sell crack. I, did. I used to make money selling coke, yeah. Oh, well, my God. Well, don't, don't, go that, <laughs> don't go around telling people that. Don't go around telling people At least you're a smart drug dealer. Please, don't go I made around. My money, I made my money and dipped out real quick. He made his money in dick. And uh, it was a good. It was good. There you go again. And business was good. <laughs> and business was picking up, bro. Business. Dude, was good. <laughs> Cunny, Ken's talking to me, man. He's talking about business me. was good, good bro. Man, no, no, no. It's all right. I made my money in dick. <laughs> business was good. Oh my god. It was his business, and business was picking up. Business uh, was good. Business was business good. He was, was doing a lot of dick. Very good. The day, and then They're going to make a movie about it. Yeah, and then he called his father, and, he, and his father was like, how you been, son? And he's like, business is great, Dad. Dick's been picking up. It's been really starting to go. It's Why you got to bring my father in? Things are getting hard. Oh my God. He told his father, things are getting <laughs> That's hard. That's your fucking blood, asshole. He said, what am I saying so bad about your father, you asshole? I'm saying you're talking to him. What is, what's he so bad? Oh, he said he's talking to his father. Oh, how dare he? He said to his father, things are picking up, Dad. Things are getting hard. <laughs> Holy mackerel! Yo, wait, listen things to this. Getting, listen to this. Are. Before we go to commercial real quick, let me tell you a little story, all right? I was at the pool the other day, and I live streamed, right? So I was telling everybody what our plans are for the weekend and shit, which I'm going to tell everybody again in case you didn't hear. But um, so I'm live streaming, right? And I'm reading some stuff in the chat that people are saying, and I'm talking back and forth to them and make comments, you know, just having a good time and everything while the kids are in the pool. And then all of a sudden I look down and I'm about, I, I, my like phone died and I lost, um, I lost the, uh, the stream. And the last thing I look down and see is Ken's got no neck. <laughs> I like this motherfucker. <laughs> Whoever that was, you fucker. Oh, your fucking neck. I have a fucking neck right here, you piece of shit. Look at it. Look, look, look at that neck. Look at Ken's neck. That's look at nice that neck. neck. He's got a neck. Oh, Come on. Look at that fucking neck, all right? I am Ken, fat, but I'm not that fat that I have a fucking neck. Christ almighty. I'm trying That's to lose neck, fucking Ken. weight. I'm trying to lose weight, but you know what keeps calling me? Taco Bell. Burger King. What, what is it? Taco Bell. White 
I don't like Taco Bell. I know? liked. I never liked Taco Bell Me as either. a kid. I hated it. Now I love it. I haven't had it in a while. Why? You know what, what I love? You know what's what so good there? Good Let me tell you what's so good there, man. They're cinnamon. What do you get? They get cinnamon balls there that are fucking unbelievably cinnamon good, bro. Balls. Yeah, you would. Oh, Dude, I know what I'm telling balls? you, bro. Those cinnamon things are fucking unbelievable. See, guys, the Not only the that. Family. Um, and then. Balls? Balls? No, no. Can I balls? fucking yeah. tell you what the other thing is? Okay. It is the fucking Fritos inside the fucking. It's called oh. a it's called a loaded griller and it has oh. Frito loaded griller is the fucking uh, most unbelievable tasting thing in the world and Lucky Low told me you know they put babies in there and I said you know what <laughs> I don't give a fuck I, if, if if a goddamn baby tastes this good with Fritos I'm fucking eating babies with Fritos because yeah, it, 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 so it, it, yeah. it was so fucking, fucking good man it was so fucking good man all right listen we're gonna go to break Mr Mellow Yellow you got anything to say before we bounce. Um, Where can we catch you? Yeah, on the I want Twitch? to say something. You've been on the Twitch. You want to say something? Good. The floor's yours, brother. Something. Floor's all yours. I love you. <laughs> we love you too, man. The one and only, Mr. Mellow Yellow. Mellow Yellow. You later. All right, Be man. Life, Peace out, Mellow. Um, and yeah. in recent news. So listen, we're going to take a quick break, all right? I'm going to get another coffee because I got to stay up late tonight. I have a ton of shit to do, and I got to wake up early for my daughter's graduation tomorrow. I took off for work, so I'm fucking feeling great about that. Um, Nice. Yeah, so we'll be back in like one or two minutes, and then after that, when we get back, we're going to talk about Vader, and we're going to go over Vader and like what he meant to all of us personally who are wrestling fans, and uh, we'll open back up the phone lines again, take some more phone calls. Uh, We'll be right back in like two minutes at the most, all right, guys? All right, be right back.
Don't miss out. This Saturday night, Insomniac comes to you live from Atlantic City. The Filthy Mouth Gamer and Foul Mouth Ken and possibly Mr. Cuddy Chris will come to you live from the streets of Atlantic City. Don't forget, a special Saturday Night Insomniac. Live streaming. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, this is not really a surprise, but Matthew Barzell just won the Calder Trophy. Wow. Matthew Barzell, Rookie of the Year in the NHL. NHL uh, Awards. They're going on right now? Or are they just releasing uh, that early? I don't know. This was like an hour ago they came out with this. So. I know that the NHL Awards are very soon, and you also have free agency coming up, which uh, the coach of the Washington Capitals stepped down as well, and he's very good friends with the new GM of the New York Islanders. So you might see something like him coming over to uh, the Islanders, man. A Stanley Cup winning coach, you know? That'd be pretty fucking cool. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, yeah, this Saturday we're going to be coming to you live from Atlantic City. We might come on Friday night before monetize this as well. Um, it's 50-50 right now. Um, and do like a kind of like a pre-show or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be on monetize this. I might be late coming to the show, but I'll be on there this Friday night. Um, nice. Yep, and uh, and like I said, Saturday we're going to be uh, fucking partying it up in Atlantic City. Hopefully everything goes good and... Uh, have a good time over there. You never know when you go to Atlantic City what's going to happen. No, you never Could know. Could turn out bad, you know? But we'll see. <laughs> I know a couple of times I went there and it turned out pretty fucking bad. It'll People... be a crazy live stream. Yeah, it's going to be fun, man. Um, I don't know if... Chris, you're going to be coming or what? Probably not. <laughs> All right, Chris is gone for four months now. Um, he's probably doing dick right now in the back. Ooh. But yeah, so it's all about dick. It's all about it, man. It's just simply about dick, and it's just a dick world that we live in. Um, well, what's the deal with Vader now? I now, mean, the guy, he was sick. Well, Vader's been sick for a while, man. He had like heart trouble, and um, I guess he was operating on a couple of times and all that shit. And he's a big dude his whole career. Tough motherfucker, man. When I mean tough, I watch uh, the end of the. Um, WWE Network, and I watched the the uh, like the roundtable discussions that they have, um, and he was in one of them, and he is a tough fuck, man. Even the other wrestlers say it too, like, "Yo, that dude was a fucking monster." He was yeah. a he was just a big fucking monster. This guy, he's like a throwback, you know, old school, just big motherfucker, man. And uh, yeah, he finally passed away, man. And uh, it's another wrestler that. Now he never made the Hall of Fame, right? <clears throat> No, man, and it's a shame because he's just another one of these guys that, you know, didn't get put in um, before they died, which is just a tragedy, man, if you ask me, because you got people like China who's not in there, and you got other assholes that are in there. And yeah, that's fucked up. It really is fucking just pathetic, man, that that this guy is not in there, neither is China. It's like really just a smack in the fucking face that they have, like, these shitty fucking people in the Hall of Fame, and he's not in there, Vader. One of the best fucking wrestlers of the era, and he's not in there. Now, I know his WWE career was not as good as his his WCW career. WCW. Because he was fucking unbelievable in WCW, and, you know, he he fought in a lot of big matches, this guy. A lot of big matches. So well, for the WCW, younger, he was like the main heel at one point. Yeah, for the, for the younger people out there who really didn't get to watch him, if you have the WWE app, go back and watch some Vader shit, man. Because when he was in WCW, this guy dominated, and you believed that this guy was really like what he what he claimed to be. Like you Definitely. you actually believed it because he looked it. He looked the part, man. You know, he seemed like it looks like Donald Trump. Looks like Donald Trump's not impressed on the screen. <laughs> yeah, Donald's like, I'll kick your fucking teeth, man. Right that yeah, sure, Donald. Better watch out for that motherfucker. He don't fuck around, this guy, man. But yeah, he was a wrestler's wrestler. He was, you know, just one of those fucking big monsters that, you know, and 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 it's like the bigger they are, the harder they fall, man. Type of shit, you know, like it's, um, 
I remember Vader. Yeah, he doesn't. Have, he didn't have that long of a of a of a shelf life, so to say. You know he, what I he mean? He was he was also the father on uh, Boy Meets World. Oh yeah, he was right. It, for for uh, that that big. Yes, he kid. was. That was him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he, yeah, he, he was. Actually, wow! like, <laughs> he was in a lot of movies. Uh, Vader. He did a lot of acting and shit. Uh, more than I thought, man. Too when it's I like looked up. Hogan. I looked up his resume, man. He was in a lot of shit, this guy, man, that I didn't even realize he was in. The guy was just a big motherfucking... Ronosaurus. He was a Ronosaurus. He was a big <laughs> motherfucker, man. He was, man. But, you know, he was a cool dude, too, man. He was, like, one of the type of guys that, like, if you did the right thing by him, he'd do the right thing by you. And if you if you did something... And, and other wrestlers said this, like, if you fucked with Vader... Like in the locker room or something, <laughs> like yo, he'd fight you. Like there's no joke, he would fucking fight you. He'd put some hands on you. It was a lot different back then. Yeah, well, oh, yeah, that definitely yes, was. Yes, Sunday boy, you're gonna get the pudding pop with the Clara Farm in it. You take the Clara Farm with the pudding pop. Ah, my son in his loves the pudding Clara Farm pop. Ah, <laughs> fuck you in the butt. Back in 1990, Vader was in a match in Japan where he took a punch where a finger caught his eye. His eye popped out of a socket yep. and he pushed it back in I and remember finished that. the match. I remember that, oh, yeah, man. That's Did it a sound like motherfucker this? Right there. <laughs> yeah, this dude was fucking no joke. He was a man's man. He really was. He was a, he was a, he was a fucking wrestling like beast. He was just a fucking beast. This guy was a monster. Look at him. Look at the size of this fucking guy. That was even even at his old age when he was in like uh like the indies, he was fucking huge. Fucking huge. Yeah, he was a he was a big motherfucker. You know, nobody ever nobody will ever forget that mask that he used to wear. You know, that that mask was weird. It didn't really cover him up. You could you could see who it was. <laughs> you always wondered why the fuck are you wearing that thing? Like what the fuck are you wearing that for? It's like but, a bondage. Yeah, it's a really yeah. It was like fuck <laughs> Maybe he had a finish. You know, like you should have a gag. Maybe he had a bondage. Wearing that fucking thing, you should have a gag ball in your mouth too. Like come out to the ring with a fucking gag ball in your mouth. You know, just be like. <laughs> yeah, seriously, that thing was like all. Oh, you sure? I mean, you know what? Listen, we wouldn't be calling him a fucking fag to his face. I'll tell you that. Fuck no. That guy would fuck up. That guy would fuck somebody up, man. But a lot of dudes were afraid of him in the locker room too, man. A lot of people were like. They didn't fuck with Vader, man. Um, but I highly recommend going back and watching the WWE app and go back like to the mid early '80s too. He was a fucking just a a force to be reckoned with. And you're you're right, uh, Filthy. He was like the top heel, even in W, even in uh, Mr. Abel Salas. Mr. Abel Salas. Abel Salas. Unable to walk in silence, yeah. Able Silas Jr. Jr. Oh, Able Silas Jr. tonight. Able Silas Jr. Yeah, Able Silas walking Jr. tonight. Oh, Abel Salas Jr. Vader was also a second team All American center yes. for the University of Colorado and drafted 24th by the Rams. Yep, I was going to bring that up. He was a professional NFL guy. He, I mean, he didn't last long. He did play a couple of years, though, I think. Right, Filthy? Pretty sure he played a couple of years. Truth Seeker wrote in a chat I always thought he was Bam Bam Bigelow. Yeah, they got they had that look a little bit. Shout out to Truth Seeker. What's going on? We're going to see him also. This, oh, you know what? I forgot to say that. Truth Seeker is going to be there this weekend as well. So nice. if Mr. Cuddy Chris comes, you'll have Foulmouth Ken, Mr. fucking uh, Cuddy Chris. You'll have Filthy Mouth Gamer and the one and only Truth Seeker. The truth when are you guys set leaving? you free. Um, Saturday. 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 Yeah, what time? Driving up there at like, uh, I'll probably leave here at like 11, 10, 11. 11? Yeah, somewhere in there. Why are you going to come, see, Chris? Well, let me see if I can move some things around. Oh, God. Move around. <laughs> Fuck, you got to move okay, around. Yeah. Right, here go. Here okay, yeah. Here he goes. Here he goes. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yo, as a matter of fact, I was pouring a, a pool oh! today. You were pouring a pool today? Yeah, I was doing pool grout. 
I'm, oh, nice. You know, it's riveting for the people listening to the show. I'm born a pool. <laughs> you ever bore a fucking pool? Eh? I bored some pool grout. What I were you doing? Bore. A collar? No, uh, no, it was a wall on the outside of it. I don't know what the fuck they building were doing. building a fucking gala. <laughs> you're building a gala bread. What are you building over there? Some gala? Um, building some gala bread. Some gala. gala. Wait until you go to this fucking deli we go to Saturday morning. The gala. Is that where we're meeting up? Dude, I guys, listen to the show. Look up Harold's Deli in Edison, New Jersey, and look at the fucking giant food they have there. Oh, that place is ridiculous, dude. If you get a pancake, it's the size of a fucking wheel. Yeah, it's, it's the ridiculous. size of it, like a tire too, like an eighteen wheeler. <laughs> if you want, if you want to take take it home, they give it to you in a pizza box. I'm not yeah, sure. no joke, no joke, man. He's not even. Ken, fucking that's around. like you remember we went to that fucking hole in the wall uh, diner in Pennsylvania. Oh my god, how good was it? Dude, you remember those pancakes that oh, came out? Oh, so fucking good, dude. I know, dude. Oh, that was so fucking good, man. Built, they were the same thing, bro. Oh, they were like fucking 15-inch yeah. fucking rims. They oh, wait a minute. Huge. Isn't that the fucking place that was right near where we saw the Super Bowl? Your, your fucking uncles? Dude, it's this little I'm trailer sure. that they turned your uncle lives? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Jenny's. Yeah, that's right around the corner from where your uncle lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's called right Jenny's. Yeah. It's called Jenny's. That was the only time I was there. We were there for the Super Bowl. Yeah, look up Jenny's in uh, in uh, Lancaster. The place Dude, is fucking Jenny's awesome. Jenny's got some bush on it. Let me tell you, Jenny's <laughs> a fucking fucking. You think the bush is ever gonna come back? <laughs> the bush? Uh, it's kind of it's kind of trying to make it come back now, but I don't think. Well, it's... they they do those those little like you know fancy bushes. What but I'm saying like you... full blown out like you know can't even see. Uh, the I'm, pussy I'm good on that. What are you talking Beanie about? Spiders? Like you're saying that like, like the bush. Like you're saying, no, dude, I don't think Bush will ever make a comeback. I'm just dude. I'm just I'm just I really don't because you know why I don't think so either. I'm just curious what other people think. You know why I don't think it'll ever make a comeback? Because like back then it really wasn't anything special. It was just, yeah, she's got hair. Like they didn't think, oh, you know, women could shave that pussy. You know what I mean? They just didn't even put that together. I don't know why they didn't but they didn't. They just didn't put together the fact that a woman can shave her, shave her vagina and it would probably look better. You know what I mean? It's better for sex. It's better for everything. Well, in, some, right? in some cases, it looks better. Well, do you do you prefer a totally well, yeah. shaven, clean, wood floor bush? No, I, know, I, no bush? I'd rather have it like fucking shaggy. No, I'd rather have it like where it's it's got a tiny bit of fur over there. I like when no, it looks I don't like, like a fucking sheep dog. I don't like I don't when it's like, I don't like, like any fur. Totally like one hundred. Not yeah, fur. Good. I don't mean fur. Okay. I mean like a little bit of hair there. Like a trim. Like why could why would you want a fucking just a fully shaved bush? I I, I like shaved bush. It's got to yeah. be that shaved that day though, because if it's shaved like yesterday, yeah, you get like before, fucking you get razor bumps. Yeah, shit. dude, I ain't fucking with no pimples. And then you get that spiky hair. <laughs> I ain't fucking yeah. with no p pussy pimples. Sorry. Dude, that's like <laughs> fucking eating out of sea urchin. I'm sorry, dude. I ain't fucking I with it. I ain't fucking you know with what no mean? pimples. I ain't got pimples, pimples on my dick and making you suck it, so you ain't making me suck no pimples on the pussy. Hit <laughs> pimple. You see, you see that new water Trump sign? <laughs> tit. This is how the guy used to say it. Look, tit. <laughs> Ken, what's your favorite part of the body? Mine's tits. Pimple. Tits and pimples. <laughs> Ken, can you ever get pimples? I used to go, what, dude? Yeah, like Heist Man said, I like that I like that bush faded. Yes, faded. That's what I'm talking <laughs> give about. It a skin, give it a skin taper. <laughs> like, no, yes, that's what I'm talking about. That's how I like it, like a skin taper, like a fucking, <laughs> like it's like kind of like, you know, Shave very nice, going up to like a small little like runway type thing. You know what I mean? Like, so you like, like, like runway a, strip? Yeah, like a sideways Hitler, something like that. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> I look forward to eating my first gray bush. Ugh. You know what I mean? That's what you look forward to? <laughs> <laughs> fucking gross. Gee, I bro. can't wait till I'm older to eat a gray bush. Ugh. A fucking like a gray <laughs> silver fox. A, uh, Silver fox. I want to eat a pussy. Silver want... fox pussy. Yeah. I want a pussy that's got athlete's foot. Ah, oh, <laughs> man. That's called. There goes that's... filthy, bringing it up to the next level. That's called <laughs> mathlete's foot. That's called a fucking. Uh, that's called a. Um... a wait, what is that again? I no, want still the cyber grown out of a pussy. Wait, what is that called again? Uh, fucking. Uh, that's called a camel foot. That's what it is. Camel toe foot. Camel okay. toe foot. Oh, camel toe? Yeah, camel toe foot. And what's the other thing? It's camel toe. And, oh, and moose knuckle. Is moose, what a guy knuckle yeah, moose knuckle and, and is foot one. fungus. Fungi. I'm a fungi. Um, 
That's pretty. Yeah, and then he nasty. also brought up another good point. Pussy is just pussy. That's right. It is, but I, no, but there's different types, man. You can't just say that it is like it, it isn't just. Because, yeah, I know. Yeah, you know, you dude, can I end ran up into with a fucking pussy that had a clit like an Atari joystick, dude. <laughs> They're not all yeah. the same. Trust oh, those. You no, know they're not all the same, but it's essentially. I like that, though. I like that. I like mean, a, it is what, you know, it's I like the same a, thing. I'm telling you right now, a big clitoris is, like, not too big, though, because I've seen, like, oh, on, on, on it. And what do you like? Dude, it was clitoris. giant. Some it of them giant. are, like, just ridiculous. It's just ridiculously big. Like, it I don't was, like that. Over the top. Like, what the fuck did you do to yourself? Did you beat yourself was with it a like hammer? Like, flick, flick it around? Yeah, it's like a. It looked like a. a, a, a like a. clit? Look like a nipple. Look like a nipple, you know. I feel I feel like I was a rabbi giving a circumcision to an infant. Oh, That's how fucking! <laughs> oh Jesus, Jesus man. Christ! Fucking a man, God Almighty! Bro. That's what they. You know they do that when they do circumcisions. <laughs> they cut they cut the dick, the little baby dick, and then they suck on it. Ew, oh. what? I swear to you. And you know what's fucked up? Oh yeah, I heard about this. Some of the babies get herpes, dude. What? Yeah. yeah oh yeah. Oh yeah, and that's religious. I don't you know what? I heard about it too, man. And I saw this show wait, 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 where the wa- where the this? mother was against it, and the father was like, "No, we're doing this. This is my religion." And blah blah blah. And she tried to fight him tooth and nail over it, man. And he. Yeah, but did what's it. the point of it? It's some weird fucking. It's to stop like, the bleeding. Satanic what ritual. Yeah, but why bro. would they suck the blood out? It's orthodox too. Not that they suck the blood yes. out. It's, a, it's no, they it's, suck. It's, they suck. It, it starts off. bleeding, and then they like they kind of suck on it quick. <laughs> Yeah, they give like weird, they give dude, like two dude, dude, that is fucking like that, like a, Yo, you come on, don't like show a... us how it's done, dude. Come on, <laughs> like a uh, come on, man. <laughs> I gotta fucking see the reenactment. <laughs> I gotta see the goddamn reenactment uh, now. Jesus Christ, like this, look. revolting, <laughs> fucking revolting. I'm sorry. They give it a rabbi with a Make America Great Again hat. Just go. <laughs> Speaking of rabbis, <laughs> did you guys see that that uh, cardinal, a U.S. cardinal, was? Uh, uh, got him, in, you know, is going to be uh, convicted on, uh, you well, know, guess, in the I guess. Boys. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, and uh, and the the Pope like suspended him or some shit, and like some people That's are it? up in arms about it. Like, well, Spend suspended him until killed the fuck. Well, I mean, like you know, obviously, but they suspended him because he's going to be going. To, How do you get suspended from the Vatican? Because he's not proven guilty yet. It's not hockey. He's not guilty. You know what I mean? So they're like, okay. If okay, he's- so it's so, all right. So let me get this straight. A girl claims that someone touched someone, and he gets his whole life fucked up. But then this guy is accused of fucking little boys. But ah, we'll just give him a time out until we find out if it's real or not. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. That's that's what they're bullshit. Doing. But listen, that's the way it should be. Because what if this guy gets proven innocent? Like, look what they did to so many people. They railroad people, and well, they, I'm they get found it, innocent. Track record. But listen, they get found innocent, and then they lose their job anyway, and they still don't get their job back. Like, that's bullshit. You know, like, at least do the right thing and find people, you know, uh, they're innocent till proven guilty. And now this guy's probably is guilty. There's no question about it. Is it cardinal? Right, but if the prerogative nowadays is to fucking just fire everyone until, you know, like yeah, you said. Yeah, I, I just don't like that part of it. You know, like, does he deserve to be fired? Yeah, probably. But I just hate the part of it that people just jump to right away, you're guilty. You know, because what if you are innocent? Sir Cardinal. Sir Cardinal's in the chat going, not me, guys. No, it's not him. Not me. The wrong Cardinal. <laughs> the wrong Cardinal. Um, but, yeah, like, I just hate the fact of, like, you're guilty till you prove an innocent bullshit. Like, whatever happened to giving a person the, pe- the, the benefit of the doubt? And what Tommy's are- in the chat talking about fucking foreskin Tommy! restoration devices. <laughs> oh, yeah, he, he always goes, mentions that's what that. happened yeah, to Joel, pr- God of Cringe, and now he uses a foreskin restoration yeah, he, device? Uh, like, he, what the fuck but, is but that? But you see, no. the funny thing is, that's a joke. That's a gag, but Tommy believes it. That's the funny part, I, that he actually that believes the device? it. device? No, come on, dude. It's a, a joke. Part of the space, it's uh, a joke, uh, dude. The guy looks. The guy looks like he's a foreskin. On his, you know, he looks like he's a goddamn foreskin. Yeah, that guy. Bad. Let me tell you something. What I saw that dude do to that homeless woman, I lost complete, res- like all respect for that dude. Oh, that's who that is. Yeah, oh, I lost serious guy. respect for that piece of I shit. I hope he never gets his foreskin who's, back. Who's yeah, trying? He's trying his best to become a YouTuber by any means necessary. Like this guy is the type of guy. That would probably sell his own mother up the river to become a YouTuber. Like, you know what? Yeah, he, the homeless woman he should become a YouTuber, this guy. He should because he, he's like got that mentality of a me, me, me fucking type person anyway. So he, he should become one. 
Um, That's another thing. I like to, I like to fuck a nice bag lady one, one of these days. You know <laughs> what I mean? A like nice bag what? Lady. Bag lady. A you bag, bag lady? lady? That's a grocery store? store? Weirdo, man. Push the down the fucking street that's full of fucking bottles and Why a fucking do you want to that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, you bro. <laughs> Why do you want to fuck, fuck a bag lady? Because he's fucking mentally impaired, bro. <laughs> This fucking guy, he's got I something. I want to fuck. I want to fuck a homeless bag lady. And then, and then, and then break a fucking cinder block over his stupid fucking head, and then take all the bottles and bring them back. That's what Jesus. I want to do. Oh, fuck, Jesus man. Christ, bro! You should be like a fucking horror movie writer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Speak, god! I, you want to hear something funny? One of my customers says that he met his wife hitchhiking. Yeah. I just thought that was a weird way to meet. That is de definitely a weird way to me, dude. Without a right? doubt, that is definitely yeah, hitchhiking. Without a doubt, yeah, it's pretty fucking weird. Did you hear the, about uh, Trump signing that new order to not uh, separate families at the border? Yeah, and he was like, they were saying that like you know, once he saw all those little kids here in New York City, because that's where like most of it was like, these kids were put. He you know felt bad and blah blah blah. But I do like how he said no. But the, and listen, do you guys agree with this shit? Like I don't know, like. I don't know. Like, I feel like if the law is the law, the law I mean, is the law. I, mean, I don't agree with, with separating families either. But if the law is the law, how come nobody, like, actually obeyed that law over the years? Why Why did, no, why did they just right. disregard that law for so no, many years? Here's, here's the thing. Before Jeff Sessions made it no tolerance, zero tolerance, it was a misdemeanor to cross the border illegally. Yeah. So it wasn't a criminal act. So nobody got separated. But since fucking Jeff Sessions made it zero tolerance, that meant if you cross the fucking border illegally, it's a fucking it's You're a criminal gone. act. Fuck you. You're getting separated. So in essence, Trump wrote an executive order rescinding his own shit. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but, he did. But like, no, but he's not taking away. He's still doing it. He's like, they're no, still, still... He's not separating the kids. He's still yeah, enforced. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Right. He's still going to enforce the... I, I, I just don't like... This is what I don't like. It's 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 a diff, It's more complicated than people are making it out to be, but I don't like the glee that some people have when talking about this shit. Like, well, fuck these kids. They're illegal. Fuck them. It's like, dude... No, nah, that's wrong. No, that's like, listen, definitely... No, I don't agree wrong. with that. Yeah, but it's you know like, what I kept thinking, though, Filthy? I kept thinking... Hey, listen, their parents are the ones who fucked up. Why'd you come in here illegally? You put your whole family in jeopardy. But that's but think about it. What would it make you what would it have to be to make you do that? Think about the dire straits some of these people are in. They're in a fucking country that motherfuckers are getting their heads chopped over machetes and shit over right. drugs. And Oh, they ain't coming to too much better here. I mean we, we have a lot to kids do with killed that. in school and fucking We have a lot with a lot to do with funding the drug cartels. You remember yeah. the fast furious shit with Obama? Giving them fucking weapons. Exactly. Not to mention what the fuck we did in the 80s with the fucking Cuban... Um, I was going to say the Cuban Missile Crisis. What a jerk off. <laughs> um, the fucking... What was that called? Iran-Contra. It's like, come on, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we destabilize a region, and then people want to... All right, we destabilize a region, and at the same time, we want to brag. Oh, we're the greatest, and we have the Statue of Liberty that says, bring everybody in here. We're good. And then when people want to come here, like, no, nah, fuck you. We spit on you, you fuck. You know what I mean? <laughs> Well, did you guys see those Muslims in um, in England? How they're taking over a part of England that that when they were people were driving around on one of their holidays oh, and chaos. they started fucking bombarding their cars and bashing the cars in. And and if fucking, they want to, if, if they listen, it's their country. If you want to let that shit happen, let it happen. But well, they all let it happen. They, England they is all, letting, they all came in. England is letting it happen. Their people are just letting it happen. They're not fighting back. They're not doing anything. And that's why my friend was like, "Yeah, let's see those Muslims try that shit in the U.S. and see what happens." And he's right. Yeah. Yeah. It just wouldn't fucking happen here. You ain't gonna pull anybody out of their car and fuck them up. If we're driving around on Ramadan, like it's not gonna happen okay, in the U.S. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why they won't even try that shit here, because they know it's not gonna happen. Like it's happening over there, and I feel bad because I don't want it to happen to those people. They can't even walk through their neighborhoods, the neighborhoods they used to live in. That's how fucking bad it is. You're not allowed to go well, through the Muslim neighborhoods. Purpose. I mean, they let them all flood in. Yeah, you're not allowed to go through the, the Muslim neighborhoods, bro. Like you, you, you're not allowed to go through their neighborhood. How fucked up is that? If right, Europe is being consumed by... Uh, and they're going by, by Sharia law, too. Like, they're actually implementing Sharia law. And they're even saying to the people who were born in England who are not Muslim, hey, put a, put a shawl on. on. You can't, you're not allowed to have that, you know, without 
having a shawl on or whatever whatever the fucking things are called. Yeah, it's getting nuts. I think, like many things in the news, they're making it out to be probably bigger than it really is. No, man, mm-hmm. I've seen footage, bro, and they're also footages. And I also, they fucking, <laughs> they fucking arrested that guy. What's his name? The, the the protester against the Muslims, and they put his ass in fucking jail, bro. Where this dude is in in an all Muslim jail, oh, and he uh, did he did nothing to go to jail at all. He did nothing to go to jail, like nothing. And they threw his ass in jail, and then he got found in contempt of the court and now he's staying late so basically they gave him like a a year sentence and it's basically a death sentence because those Muslims in there are gonna fucking kill him there's no doubt about it they all hate him so they basically set him up to die I think Jones was talking about this Uh, Tommy Robinson yeah Robinson man it's fucked up dude like dude half the people in Guantanamo Bay did nothing All, all all it was is we were in Afghanistan somebody ratted him out just to say that he was up to some shit he wasn't up to anything if half the people in a Guantanamo Bay are totally innocent, but we don't want to release them because it's going to Yeah, but they them. have to put people in there. Yeah. They keep well, them what running. the fuck, dude? You're going to put innocent people in there? They don't get closing fuck. down Guantanamo Bay. They did at no. one point, but then they, like, they, they didn't close it down, but Obama was saying that he closed it down, but he never did. It never got no. closed down. He, he was like in the process of doing it and never got it done. And he basically lied, you know? Yeah, Obama was, was completely full of shit. Yeah, he was saying that. Well, he's a guy coming now. from Bradford, UK. He said it ain't like that here, and it's full of Muslims. Well, it depends on where you're. Uh, I guess well, it depends. I'm, on the I'm saying. I'm no, saying it does. It does. It does. It's depend easy on the for the news to take like a two block a thing that's happened on two blocks and make it like it's happening in half the country. They oh yeah, of course. No, no, no. I know, but they didn't say it was happening in half the country. They said in this no, but one. You know, what, you know what I mean. No, you're right about that. You are definitely yeah. right. But they said in this one area of the country that used to be all English and people living there, which happens all over the place. There's um, Puerto Rican population living in a population that used to be black in some neighborhoods by my house. There's areas that used to be all white that are all black now. There's all areas. Love the Puerto Rican. I mean, it all goes around. It goes around. It moves around over the the decades and shit of who lives where. And most people like to live around their kind of people, right or wrong. And Long Island, as good as we do get along out here, black, white, and Puerto it's Rican and all that, we do get along. We all get along. There's no fucking like. It's not you ain't like, pushing no one out of nowhere. Yeah, over here is different, no. man. We're all brothers and sisters here. Like, a- ex- you may, except when somebody wants to build a mosque. You, well, you <laughs> might hear ridiculous. bad shit about New Yorkers, but the bottom line is, yeah, New Yorkers true. they they get along and they are diversified, man. There's no doubt about that, and partially because you have to be. You know what I mean? And th- that's for the, like the racists who live in New York. They got to be diversified because you're going to run into every kind of race in the world if you work in the city or you live on Long Island. You're going to run into different creeds and races and religion, and you either deal with it or you become a fucking bigot and you move away, you know, which a lot of people have done too, you know, but it's just fucked up because if you really think about it, Dearborn, Michigan here in the U.S. is the closest thing here that is happening over in um, Europe with, with the Muslims in certain areas. Dearborn, Michigan, they have training camps for Muslims, training camps on how to kill and assault rifles and shooting assault what, rifles. To, and to blah, help blah. the military or to go against them? No, not to help the military, to go against them. If you go look this up. So you're saying there's a terrorist group in the United States. Oh, Abel Salas Jr. Yeah, go look it up. I'll, I'll show you it after this. You'll see. That shit will happen here eventually if you keep letting people into this country that don't want to assimilate. That shit on the Statue of Liberty was not nor has it ever been immigration policy that was some BS poem put on the base. Yeah. Definitely. Abel Salas, man. We got a a caller coming in. Caller, what's up? Who's this? No, he's gone. He bailed out. Uh, You know why why it's not going to happen here? Because we have guns. Yeah. Well, that too. Well, go look up Dearborn, Michigan, and when you guys get a chance, go look up Dearborn, Michigan, and the and the uh, Muslim population and Muslim training bases over there. It exists. It's here in America, but it's in a small little pocket, you know, isolated area I of think America. For Trump, I think he, he's more along the lines of let's take care of the American people first before we start taking care of people who don't even belong here. You know, he's just trying to make it better. 
Well, that well, he and, did and say people that. People don't see it that way. They look at it that. as he's racist. Well, they definitely do look at him as racist. But you know what? He's got a million people going around telling he, people that he's racist. So of course, people are going to believe it. When is you he know saying what I mean? he's racist? No, not him. I'm saying other people go around oh, they all telling him this. he's racist. You know what I mean? Like uh, t- us telling about him being racist. Yo, what's up, Koala? Who's this? Who do we got? I just want to say, Cunny Chris, you're a great man. You're a bad man. <laughs> he's bad. Cool again, man. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Um, <laughs> yeah, but you block but, me on Twitter. Whatever. Um, but yeah, listen, Dearborn, Michigan is like it is in Europe. And... The, the people who live there too are like very afraid of it. They're like they they don't like the fact that this is happening. Like there's people who protest against them and shit and fight them and blah blah blah. This is what I'm hearing is happening there. You know, and what about like you, you, you said they blow it yeah. out of proportion? No, they definitely do. They add a lot more to it than. But that's that's what the media has always. Yeah, been, they really. always done that shit, man. The media are a bunch of fucking like just. Yeah, I mean, news. you literally can't trust nothing with the media. Nothing. Like, you can't even trust them telling you about certain topics. I mean, uh, certain, like, products to buy and shit like that. Like, you can't trust anything with the government. Like, the regulation, too, on our food and on, like, just even down to the water we drink is bullshit because they're fucking, they're, they're fucking everything up. I mean, there's just no way around it. They don't give a shit. There's no standard. You know, I drink Fiji. <laughs> no, no. Wait. Who's? Um. Why? What'd you say? I drink Fiji water. Fiji was a guy who was friends with in high school. Well, I heard that. The I heard that. <laughs> no, no, I, that wasn't Fiji. <laughs> Even the Fiji water is like, dude. All these waters that you drink and we think that are like good for us because it's you know, it's filtered water and blah 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 and you know. It's really not. It really has shit in it, too. It's got plastics in it, and it's got all kinds of cancerous fucking things in it. That, that nothing's will, safe. No, nothing is. Not unless uh, you're well, getting your own water until... and you're boiling it, and you're also hunting. Turn the light off. And you're hunting, like, meat and shit. <laughs> it's just every five fucking minutes there's a light left on. Every five fucking minutes. Jesus. Can you turn the light off? Cristo, Cristo. Oh, my God. Um... But yeah, I forgot. I lost my whole train of thought because of that shit. What, what were we saying? We were talking about how everything is bad. Like, like up until two weeks ago. <laughs> up until two weeks ago, you didn't realize you were eating babies. There you go. Yeah, Fritos. Frito exactly. babies. Frito babies, Frito bro. Babies. And they're fucking pretty good, man. T- yeah, tastes pretty nah, good, man. I don't want to give it up. I don't want to give up my Frito babies, bro. Fiji water is good and also Voss. Did you look these up? Because they actually have like a list of the products, like which ones that are like kind of like. It's mineral water. You know what the cl- the cleanest water is? Uh, is uh, Niagara water. You get it at Home Depot. I swear to God. Really? I'm not even making. I'm not even making. Home that Depot up. water? Is that yes, from Niagara, Niagara Falls? Niagara. Is that from like Niagara Falls area? No, it's it's. I believe it's purified water, so it's not spring water, but it's gotcha. purified like a motherfucker. How do you know that it's the best water ever? Because there was a list of the cleanest waters. And that and was it? That was number one. Yo, what's up, Koala? Honey, Chris. Hi, uh, Larry. Oh, oh my God. Come on. You're going to fucking lose it, dude. Go fucking Three strikes are out. Now you're done for a month. Ball. Three strikes. And if you don't think I'm going to do that, you got another thing coming. Don't fucking do that. Enough is enough with doing that shit, dude. Seriously, you're a needy bitch. Enough with these needy fucking bitches. Lay Always the fuck off, young. dude. Go on your fucking dumb Conan show that you're fucking on. <laughs> fucking. I don't have no problem fucking plugging wow! that show. Fucking. fucking re- I don't have no problem fucking plugging that stupid shit show that four people listen to. Okay? No problem at all. Fuck out of here. They're going to put you on as a host. They fucking got problems. Trust me. Go, go. You got to get out oh, of here. Oh, he was a host? Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go. Go. You got to get out of here. Go. Voss go. is a great go water, away. too, if you're a singer. See you in Attica, dick. Serious. <laughs> now, which one did you say? Voss. Yeah, but then you're paying for the glass bottle, I think. True. No, 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 it's not glass. It's plastic. That's plastic? Yeah. You could get glass. It looks Voss. like glass. It looks like glass, but it is expensive. It's, it's like five something for a bottle. It's but that I'm going to tell you right now, it's fucking extremely t- delicious. What's, what's so good about it? I, I go with a good old Poland. Honestly, yeah, but see, hold on, though, because if you actually 
drank a Poland Spring and then five minutes later drank a Voss, you oh, would want to should hire you. 100% taste the difference. Well, Voss was you always know. like a, a like a higher class water, I what thought. I hate, you know? yeah. I hate Avion. It's fucking disgusting. Avion? What? Thick. I thought what? that was one of the good ones too, though. Like yeah. Avion water. Like tasting. Uh, I'll drink Nestle. So what? Avion's not good, you saying? It's gross. Oh, Evian. You What's so bad yeah, about yeah. it? What's so what, what could be so bad it's about it though? Like it's water. To it. Really? I'm telling you. That's it's weird. not. It's it's like heavy. It's the fucking most gross shit. Heavy. Yeah. I'm telling you. I'll do the fucking water taste challenge <laughs> yeah. on Saturday if you want, motherfucker. Yo, what's up, caller? <laughs> Hello, caller. Please, please. Dude, oh, what sorry. the fuck are you using please. different fucking numbers for, dude? Seriously, man, I'm gonna give you a cell fucking phone number out right now, dude. Seriously. Oh shit. I'm not even fucking around. Call me one more fucking time. Don't Call me one more fucking time. Fucking loses, bro. God I don't damn it. Why he does that? Dirk, oh, fuck, Google it, man. I'm what telling you right you now, dude. What don't you fucking understand? Water Holy is not water, fuck, man. I mean, water is obviously water, but if you had Voss, you would understand what I'm trying to say. I have wow. I have had that that shit before. It really is. It is. It really, does taste it better. Happens. It does taste it better. Does. You're right. But people used to say that Poland Spring was the best shit you can get. You know, because it's like, you know what I mean. Poland Spring though was like one of the worst. Well, I'm saying no. When it first came out, it was like one of the best. Like fucking, you know. No fucking shit on my water, bro. What the fuck? Come Come on. Like Can somebody spring? out there give us a real fucking phone call, please? Can someone else call us besides this fucking crackhead? We're talking about fucking Jesus water fucking here. Christ, we man. Talk here. Holy fuck, fuck man. Hey, you know what? Let's talk about Marshalls and how you can get Christ, fucking sneakies there. Fucking $40. guy, man. Relentless, dude. Fucking Let's die. Talk about fuck out of here, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's my so little fucking secret, bro. A lot dude, of people I, don't know about Marshalls, man. Dude, my ex-girlfriend is like the fucking manager of fuck the, up a night, the region, man. regional manager of Marshalls. Wow. Know how to fuck a night up, dude. You, I, if the, I'm going to answer this, and if this is him, I'm giving his cell fucking phone number out. Watch. You don't fucking believe me? Hello? Uh-oh. Who's this? Who's this? Hey, what's up, kid? Who is this? D-Wells. Is this D. Wells? Finally, yeah. somebody else. Nice. Hey, Fucking A, man. What's going on, D? I'm doing good, man. How you doing? Good, man. Doing all right. That's, that's good, man. I'm glad. That's good I'm, to hear How you guys doing? What the fuck is this all about? <laughs> <laughs> God damn, it's good I'm to hear good from you, dude. You, dude. <laughs> it's good to hear from you, man. Emails. Honestly, man. It's refreshing. I haven't heard from you in a while. How you been, dude? Yeah, yeah man. You been doing it? How you been doing? Doing good? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing good, man. I'm just uh, um, checking out um, the other show and just decided to call in. And um, um, I, I did pretty much hear you uh, talk about Vader. You, you know, you, you know, it's kind of sad that Vader um, yeah. uh, died earlier today. I, I didn't see that coming. How old I mean, was I, he? I was, Do you know? I, I was a pretty, pretty much a fan of him for. Um, Do you know how uh, old he was? After I got the watch for us. D, you know how old he was? I believe he's 53 now. Cause, um, man, see, that's too fucking young, man. Yeah, a lot but, of these but, wrestlers. But, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but you know the bad thing is, uh, he, he only died with a heart failure. I, and I knew he, he wasn't going to make, make it that long. I was like, oh, my God, man. I yeah. didn't even know. So, so I heard about it. Yeah, I heard that he had like some like heart issues over the years and all that shit. And It's a shame, man. It really yeah, is. Yeah. Too young. That's too yeah. fucking young, man. I don't care what anybody says. How that's old too was young, he? Man. Like 60-something, I guess, said. man. Yeah. He's out fifty three. It's too fucking young, man. Yeah, that is too. Yeah. Young. It really is, man. Yeah. It's like a lot of these wrestlers go at a young age, man. You know. Yeah. Look at yeah, Roddy man. Piper, it's... man. Now I was sad when Roddy died, man, because I I used to oh, love Roddy God. Piper like anyway, and then I watched him on that show uh, on um I watched him on that show on uh the app the WWE app where they were the the where they all mm-hmm. stayed in the same house together. And uh-huh. he was awesome in that, man, because it just showed you a different side of him, you know? And and then, bang, yeah. the fucking guy dies, man. Just like, you know, who's next? Who the fuck is the next one? I mean, if we were to take a pool, man, that would be one hell of a pool. You do all wrestlers' deaths. Like, you pick who who you think is going to be the next wrestler to die. That's fucked up. Dude. I mean, honestly, man, it's worth it to do because wrestlers die it's all the fucking time, it. dude. It's worth it. It is, man. It's It's a game. 
You know, you're playing games with their lives. Mm-hmm. Nah, it's, it's you're making a bad situation good. At least somebody wins something. You know. Scott Hall. Just kidding. Yeah. Why Scott Hall That's fixed the- this shit up, man? Scott Hall's doing good. So is Jake the Snake. Oh. Listen here, you didn't put my napkins in the bag. I ordered chicken from you guys every day, and you forgot to put the fucking napkin in the bag. Yeah, right now they got fucking. The autopsy guy's got Vader cut open. He's fucking. Oh, come on, man. Don't fucking do that. Don't do that. What? Yo, Taco Bell's over there getting the insides so they can mix them up with their fajitas. (laughs) Christ almighty, dude. That is so fucking gross, man. (laughs) Bro, you're eating Vader nuts the next time you go get a chalupa. Come on, man. That is just horrible, dude. That is that is just horrific, man. How do you feel about that, uh, D Wells, them saying that? That messed up. Uh, uh, no, <laughs> ah, no, not really. Though. <laughs> <laughs> that was but, good. He's like, eh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, is it true? Does anybody know that American Chopper is back on yeah, it's TV? Been back. Now wait a second. Is he back with his son again? Like, oh, no, what's the no, deal? no, no. It's basically, you know, kind of like how it ended, where Paul Jr. has his own shop, and and Paul Senior has still his shop. Oh, right. So it's yeah, still like, like that then. It what? So it's still like that then? Like yeah, what, yeah, uh, they have. But they oh, so like uh, are they friends they now? Came to get yeah, yeah, they're friendly. All right, because didn't they sue each other at one point too? Like oh, they, they were, were like, going crazy at each other. But a lot of Jesus. people, I don't know if they. But Paul Senior went filed for bankruptcy like a bunch of times, man. Yeah, I heard like he had half to get, his building is gone. Yeah, like he had to get rid of half of that big ass building that they had in all he that was, shit. Yeah, he straight up said I was spending too much money. You know how much wow. money it costs for that mustache upkeep? Forget it. Yeah, dude. That's that's a motorcycle mustache, bro. You gotta put a lot oh, muffler 100%. on that thing and you know? Like that's a mustache that's a mu- muffler mustache. Is dude, that, he's probably got pussy from nineteen sixty five in that mustache, dude. Dude, he lost a good bike in that fucking thing, dude. Those fucking bikes are sick. He lost a good bike in that fucking thing. So the show's back, and I guess uh, that's crazy, man. I didn't know that. It, I thought it was like reruns that when I saw it. I was like, there's no way that that show is back, but I guess so. That's pretty cool. I used to be into that show big time. I love the brother, the other brother. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, Mike? Yeah, he's, fu- he's funny, that yeah. fucking dude. Well, he's kind of like a... Uh, guy opens up he a has paint. Nothing, he has nothing to do with bikes. Dude, the funny <laughs> thing is the guy opens up a fucking, like, painting gallery. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Who the fuck yeah. does Michael? that, dude? Yeah, he was like, oh, my father's, uh, you know, famous. My brother's famous. I'm famous. I'm going to open up a painting gallery. Like, who else yeah. does that? You know what I mean? He looks like a fucking makes, Down Syndrome different. Sammy Hagar is what he looks oh. like. Yeah, he does. You're right. But it if does. you think about it, because that show was way back, man. That was like one of the first, like uh, I think, yeah, like vehicle, reality. vehicle. Yeah. You're right. Reality shows. You're right. You know what I mean? Now yeah. you have like Gas Monkey Garage. Oh, and, I can't you know, stand all, all of those, them. man. I can't, man. You don't like what, Gas Monkey? Nah. Well, what about Pimp, Pimp My Ride? D Wells, do you watch any of those shows? Pimp My Ride. That was <laughs> after American Chopper, though. Do you watch any of those shows, D Wells? No, not really. No. Uh, what do you watch? Really. What mean, do you I watch? Watch any of them. So, <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I mean, my father might have watched um, shows, uh, some, something like that. He might, he might have watched maybe like American Chopper or yeah. something like that. But I don't do you watch? Do you watch any shows? shows like that, what do you watch? Anything? You watch anything um, on TV? Nothing usual. I mean, I, I mean. I, I mean, rest of, uh, the rest of the time, most of wrestling, or, 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 or I'll sometimes watch like a movie or something. But I don't always find any uh, any TV shows there lately. But um, nah, once a I while, need, I'll, I need TV I'll, shows. I'll watch I need TV shows, man. I, I need fucking TV shows. I can't just watch you movies. You need all TV time. shows? Yeah, because I can't just watch movies all the time. I need like a TV show sometimes. Like, I, I can't just watch movies all the time. You Ken, have I mean? you been following yeah, up on uh, on, um, on what? Westworld? Actually, I watched the last episode, right? Wasn't the last episode on recently? It was just on Sunday, the yeah. Finale for the finale? No, season? no, the finale's this weekend. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't like the way it's going, man, to be honest with you. You don't? Nah, man. I don't know. It, I kind of lost, like, it lost a little bit of its thunder for me. Yeah, well, I don't know why. It's it's different from the first uh, season. That's Way like, different, oh, man. Samurai World, dude. The Samurai World was sick. Filthy, you watching it? Yeah. What do you think about what's going on in the last episode? Well, I don't understand. What's his name's back? Fucking 
Oh, I don't want to fucking spoil this shit. Yeah, yeah I know. No, I know, it's I all know. good, man. He's it's all good. If people didn't see it, they're not gonna fucking see it now. Like it's not that big of a show. I don't think it is, right? No, yeah, it is yeah. a pretty big show. Really? Because no, nobody fucking talks about it, dude. Hey, I don't hear anybody talking about. Let's talk about a hot chick, dude. Evan Rachel Wood, dude, is fucking. That's smoking. the one who's on that show. Who's that again? Is that Holy the, shit! That's the one who's on that wait, show. Wait, wait, wait. Is, is is that the one who plays what's her name? Yeah, the blonde chick. Yeah. yeah, but have you ever seen her though in her? Uh... Oh, look, everyone's saying no spoilers. All right, so whatever. Yeah, she's freaking, right. dude. She was married to Marilyn Manson. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's a freak. She was chick. married. She was married to Marilyn Manson too. Yeah, that chick. Yeah, wow. Yeah, she eats she like a champion too. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, wow, she's a little bit of a, she's, she's a little bit of a freak. So you know but, she's a freak because she married Marilyn Manson. But she is fucking hot though. Mister D Wells, you got anything to say before we let you go, buddy? Anything else no, you want to no, ask us? No, 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 I think I'm pretty much doing good, man. I just had to call in. All right, man. And, uh, Thank you for calling in, man. And um, do do miss them and. Okay, he, he's not gonna be going to Hall of Fame. Uh, every shit put in, in the first uh, after he's alive, but but uh, uh, you're trying to get going to Hall of Fame after he's gone. But yeah, it not sucks, ever, man. Not ever legend. Never get to a Hall of Fame. Ultimate after he's Warrior. Ultimate, uh, Ultimate Warrior just just got in just in time. He dies the fucking like mm-hmm. two days later. You know, I mean, it sucks that he's not gonna be yeah. in Veda. Veda deserved it before he died. So did China. That's it. Plain and simple, man. Yep. All right, D Wells. Thank you, brother, for calling in. Have I appreciate it, brother. We'll talk to you uh, soon. I appreciate taking the call, man. I'll talk to you soon. Man. All right, man. The one and only D. Wells. We got another caller on the line. Caller, what's up? Who do we got? What's up, Joe? I mean, Ken. What's, what's going on? on? Oh, <laughs> hey, call me Joe. Yeah, Damn, man. man. What's going Damn, on, brother? Bro. <laughs> I'm already starting off fucked up. Damn. <laughs> what's going on, man? Nothing, dude. Just caught up pay my respects. Oh, yes, yeah, Sunday day. boy. You're going to get the pudding pop with Oh, shit. Hold on one second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold up one second. My son in his loves the pudding cloud from Pop Down. Fuck you in the power. Power. Not knocking bottled water, but any of you guys ever drink from the garden hose as a kid on yes. a hot summer day? Fuck yes. Never I think got we all sick did. from it. You're right. Ultimate warrior getting into the hoff, being at mania and raw and dying 24 hours later was yeah. really fucked up. That was Hashtag fucking. Hashtag Rip Vader. Yo, big shout out to you, brother. Thank you. That was really fucked up that he died days later after being inducted into Hall of Fame and, and after meeting all these people that he talked shit about for years. He was talking shit about Hogan and and uh, and fucking um, Vince McMahon and like he was going on the live streams and saying whatever the fuck he wanted, you know. And then he met all these people again, became friends with them all again, and then all of a sudden fucking dies like a two. Or, Two days later, yeah, after the sucks. Hall of Fame, it's fucked up. But at least he made it to the Hall of Fame, though. Um, but what's going on, Cole? What do you what do you what do you think about Vader? What would you did you watch him when you were younger or not? I mean, I'm only 25. I caught a little bit of what. The fuck yeah, was you up. caught like the tail end of him. Yeah. Yeah, he was a pretty uh, athletic big dude. To he be was, honest. man. You're right about that. Nobody brought that up, man. He was an athletic motherfucker for his size. He was. Right. He kind of. I don't want to say encourage me because I'm bigger myself, you, should, you know, but uh, I have a little athleticism to me. So, yeah, yeah. Vader was up there, you know, kind of. Yeah, you so really you, got big fat so you, tits. <laughs> <laughs> so you could, you could, definitely. you could fucking definitely appreciate that for what, you know, because I'm a big dude too. And I, when I played hockey, my size was oh, yeah. like deceiving. You know what I mean? People didn't think I could move like I like I did. You know, oh, yeah. and that's how Vader yeah. was. Vader, it looked like Vader wouldn't be able to do some of those moves that he would pull off. Then he used to go on the top rope, fucking Vader. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah, the guy yeah, used yeah. to I climb mean, onto oh, the yeah, top yeah, rope, man. Boy. You're gonna <laughs> get broken, lion. <laughs> Mr. Broken, <laughs> Lizzy, Busy, Oka, Hizzy, for Shizzy. Loves the pudding cloud of our what did you guys hear the guy who plays Wait. Shane is returning to the Walking Dead what? next season? I think that confirms he is yes. dying next no season. No way, dude. Wait, 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 real quick. Shane, Shane is coming back How's to the Walking possible? Dead. How's that possible? I thought he died in the show. Yeah. yeah. It's probably going to be a flashback. That's crazy, man. Yeah, Rick is gone. Oh, man. no, 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 no. Yeah, Shane. No, wait, is call her. Call her. Wait. Oh, man. I didn't hear what he said before he left. Fuck, man. He said if you if you needed him to beat the shit out of young Republicans. Oh, my God. Fuck, yeah, dude. I'll let. I'll definitely let you know, man. Without a doubt. 
I think I might need you to help me, man. The guy's fucking just a stalking cunt. Like, leave me the fuck alone. I let you get a phone call, and you got to keep coming back and harassing. God damn. Cola, what's up? Who's this? It's all about dick. It's all about dick. Exactly. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> That's a big one. He That's said it like it was an emergency, too. It's, it's all about, about dick. dick. <laughs> that was great. It's all about dick. <laughs> Man, I, you know, I was fucking drunk that night, man. You know, everybody's right. got sound drops on them, bro. You're just part of the team, bro. Come on, <laughs> everybody's got yeah. sound drops, man. It's all about giving, dick. You know, bro. we even got some Bob sound can we, drops. Uh, hey, filthy, can we edit it where I, I just do a voiceover where uh, you go? It's all about giving, dick. I recommend <laughs> you stop being such a faggot. <laughs> It's all about Diz Nick, baby. Uh oh, we got a shit stirrer alert. Oh, here's another uh -oh. shit stirrer. We got a shit stirrer alert. Shit stirrer alert. Shit stirrer alert. <laughs> Ring the alarm. Shit stirrer alert. All right, before I say anything, I just want to start off by uh, greeting uh, Cunny Chris. How you doing, Cunny Chris? Oh, wow. He said, What's up to you tonight, man? Ah, uh, this is going somewhere, but all right. What's up? <laughs> what's up, brother? No, I like the topic. Oh, he's giving uh, you respect. Earlier, you guys were talking about how you guys have to, like, you know, it's a melting pot, basically, and people just don't want to get along, but you have no other choice. Oh, yeah, over as, here, uh, yeah. Over here, you don't have a choice, man. It's either get along or get out. I do live in the tri-state, so I do know what you mean. All right, so there you go. Yeah, you, then you definitely Yeah, well, you, because your neighbors can be, it's very multicultural around yeah, here. Yeah, it is. Well, because they're paisans, right? You get, yeah, well, I mean, that's what you got in, in New York. It's yeah. either Italian, Irish, you know, black, um, Puerto Rican, Haitian. You know what? Well, in New York, I'm, I'm not from New York, but I think, like, most of the landlords are Jewish, right? Nah, I wouldn't say that, yeah, man. Not in my area. Or is that like the like the city, like Manhattan? Well, I yeah, a lot of well, there are a lot of Jewish people that own nice homes there, yeah. Especially in Brooklyn yeah. where the brownstones are, like those big brownstone homes that are worth yeah, yeah, so yeah, much exactly. fucking money. Steven German! Steven German! Wait, hold on, hold on. Hold up. Steven German wants to say Donate your boner. <laughs> <laughs> German, is that really you? Steven German, the great Steven German. The yeah, no, it's him. The boner killer himself. Um, what is this, a donation? That was a donation. It was, that was, yeah. Yep. Oh, sorry, I can't. I'm so calling you my phone. Like him really baby cock? It's all good, you, man. Suck baby cock? Is oh that what you want to be, the Jewish rabbis that suck the baby cock? Oh, yeah. this is God help Wait, us who, all. Who's talking? Is that filthy? That's filthy. But you sound like a bitch, Filthy. What's up? Oh, 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 shit. Shot fire. Damn. Oh. Like, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Let's, not, let, let's not start uh, sucking each other's dicks now, right? Hey, you cunt. <laughs> <laughs> you cutty cunt, yeah? Hey, yo, man. Uh, listen, I got to get up at four in the morning, but... Uh, God if, bless. You can do me, yeah, you thanks. Can do me thanks one thing. Thanks for giving that your morning uh, routine. Uh, oh, yeah, I think we'll give out ice to everybody. Are you going to go deliver ice tomorrow? Yeah, <laughs> you know me. <laughs> what type of job? <laughs> <stuff? laughs> are you a janitor or something? Oh. Or? Uh, yeah. I have African American friends. I don't... There you go. That's what I want to do. Wow! That's what I want to do. <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear before I left. What did you want to hear? The, I, um, I've got African Since we're getting cranked <laughs> off here in the interview. Um... <laughs> Heard. Get the puck out of here, dude. Get the puck out of here. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh, my God, man. Oh, Those shit. Tommy sound bits are never going to get old. That's they just don't, there. man. They just don't get old, man. I don't know they what don't. the fuck. I love the guy, man. The it's... Guy's Dude, I do too, I, man. I, I always say this. If he was around when Howard Stern was around... Oh, my God. He would have been on Stern all the time, dude. Dude. He would have been on Stern all the time. Been You're right. They would have been... Juice, him and yeah. Beetlejuice would have been going to bachelor parties together and doing midget tossing together. <laughs> they would have been throwing Tommy's fat ass up on a Velcro wall. <laughs> I don't think anyone I don't think anyone could lift Tommy up. Oh, they would have been doing it. It would have been like five or six fucking guys just hoisting him up, and he would have been like... Ah! And you know what? <laughs> Tommy would do anything for money, so as long oh, as you wait, get him a... 
<laughs> as long as you get Tommy a pizza with ham and olives, he's good to go. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, uh, Ken. Yo. I was listening to some old episodes of uh, Monetize This, right? Yeah. And uh, it's funny, when you got into the scene, you and uh, Tommy, Yeah. when you just started hanging out with him, you were like so quiet and very timid with him. Oh, you with so Tommy? Nice. With yeah, Tommy, you, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Like you, you barely curse him off, and like now, nah, I won't deny it. I won't deny it. Let me tell you, <laughs> yeah, man. No. After you get like the, after you get about seventy five phone calls at two in the morning, <laughs> you tend to fucking <laughs> things change. You know what I mean? <laughs> things change to say that. Nah, but I love the kid. I mean, I, you know, listen. We've had our um, there's things that he does that I don't like. You know what I mean? Just like everybody else, there's things that he does that I don't like. Um, there's ways that he says things that make me think like, you know, a certain way about him. But, you know, at the end of the day, I know that I he mean, doesn't, he means well. Yeah. He really does mean well. There's no exactly. doubt about it. He it's really does. Ability, you know? Like, I honestly think he puts his foot in his mouth a lot and he doesn't mean to do it, but he just does it continuously. Nah, yeah. You know like what I mean? Like that time when, uh, remember JB had, uh, I think his children had surgery and then he sent like, he sent him some good messages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, like, that's when I really, I was like, oh, I felt bad for Tommy. Yeah. there. Are, well, there is a, oh, Chris just went off for the second time tonight, right, Chris? No, I didn't. Why'd your name just pop up on the screen that you just got online on Skype? <laughs> that's fucking weird, <laughs> I don't know. He got that Walmart collection. Yeah, man, he does, man. He's got fucking, uh, it's hooked up to the car battery outside. Where does yeah, he live is. in? Farmingville? He lives in uh, Farmersville. Yes. Mm, He's farm. Cunt. He uh he knows all about corn. That's his specialty. Yeah, I know all about corn, and yeah. I know all about ice. Corn curd. You do, you do. You're one of the best ice backs. I know I've about ice. Far ever seen. What do you think about that rapper who was killed? Uh, since we're getting cranked off in this interview, um, uh, <laughs> no, um, I don't know, man. Like, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know much about him, so I really can't say. He was a young guy, him. man. He was a fucking young dude, man. I mean, he was 20. Yeah, you're yeah. right. It's kind of fucked up. Oh, yeah. That's too young to die, bro. That's too oh, young. Yeah, it's coming out. What the fuck? Isn't it too young to die? I mean, honestly, come on. Even 60 something years old is too young to die, man. Honestly, you know, let alone a 20 year old dude. Like, that's just, that's that's horrible. The, the, oh. the guy's life is over. Like, he never, to, you know. Hold on, uh, sorry, uh, sorry about this. Just side note, I'm just looking at his at his hat right now, Filthy's hat. Yeah, you like that? Make make, make America, America rage, rage again. again. <laughs> yes, rage against the machine. Rage against the machine, son. Yeah. This guy. <laughs> make America rage again. That's the way to do it, Bobby. <laughs> what the fuck is going on, man? <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh, all right. Well, uh, anyway. You know. Take care, guys. Oh, you got to yeah, man. Gotta, yeah, Ed, say what you got to say. Come on. I no, just like when, it, uh, he... you know what's my favorite thing about YR? What? What is when that? When he always says, oh, it's not proper uh, radio etiquette. He says that a lot, right? But then he calls me. <laughs> but then he calls me fucking forty-five times a show, right? He's like, "That ain't proper radio etiquette." But I'm gonna call you like a stalker for forty-five more fucking times straight. You know, he does that a lot. He does that a lot. You guys are funny, dude. Thank you. All the, I except appreciate Cunny it. Chris, except Cunny Chris. Fuck Ooh. that guy. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Uh, anyway. All right, well, uh, all right, all right man. Colors. SC, I'll talk to you, brother. Have a good night, guys. All right, man. You too. Oh, yes, yeah, Sunday boy. The you goon. Get the pudding pop. The one and only Clarify. goon. You kick the That's the goon, baby. Trouble like it's hot. Trouble tra- tra- like it's hot. The goon, the goon, the goon. The goon, the goon. It's time. It's time. It's Vader time. It's Vader time. Vader, Vader you will be severely missed. Yeah, Sucks he will. I never got to see him Vader bomb Tommy into oblivion that all the years of Wendy's he has downed would explode out his oh. leaky asshole. Oh, my God. God damn, bro. <laughs> I swear, holy shit, man. Shout out to, to the goon. Um, Yeah, if, well, listen, I don't know about that. I don't know nothing about no... Uh, I don't know nothing about no Wendy's. That's all I know. I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. All right, no, anyway. Nut. Anyway, guys, uh, we might be on Friday night, like I said, so uh, we'll let you know on Twitter if uh, 
if we're definitely going to come on or not. And um, Saturday, we're going to be coming live from Atlantic City. Hopefully, Cuddy Chris will be there. I know me, Truth Seeker, and, uh, and Mr. Filthy will be there. So we'll find out about Chris, and we'll let you guys know. Um, and if you guys are around Saturday night, it should be a good one, man. Like, I honestly don't know. We might end up in jail, to be honest. No joke, because every time we go out there, it's either a really great time or we all get arrested. So we'll find out. We'll find out that night. Um, but yeah, that's about it. That's about it tonight, guys. Go go over there and check out Mr. Lucky Lowe's interviews he does over there. Lucky Lowe's. Uh, oh, yes. The lowdown. Mr. Foul Mouth Bobby. Mr. Foul Mouth Bobby. Bob Dim Titties. Bob Bob Dim Titties. Bob Bob and Bob and Bob Bob and 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 Bob him coming back to FMN Saturday, prepare her dicks. <laughs> prepare some dicks. <laughs> yeah, like I said, go over there and check out Mr. Um, uh, Mr. Lucky Lowe's show that he does interviews uh, on the um, the lowdown with Lucky Low. Um, and I did help him think of the idea, folks. Just want to let you guys know that, all right? Um, but anyway, yeah, go check that out. And um, go check out the Corrupted Podcast this Saturday night as well. We're going to be probably doing that show from the same place, Atlantic City. So I think we're doing that show. Last I heard, we're, we're still doing it So uh, for that night. Um, and yeah, that's about it. You guys got anything to say before we go? <clears throat> no? That's great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I tell you. All right. Anyway, guys, we'll see you. Um, we'll see you Friday, most likely. or But we'll definitely see you Saturday if we don't see you Friday. And then uh, Sunday, we'll be dropping some stuff on the Patreon. And uh, that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out tonight and donating and everything and uh, having a fun night with us. Um, big shout out to everybody on the Patreon. Um, we just did a, another Can I Talk on there, so go check that out if you haven't yet. And also check out the, the mega review of E3, which was awesome. Awesome fucking show. Go check out that podcast. I'm telling you right now, even if you're not into video games, it was still a fun thing to listen to and uh, going, you know, reminiscing. And they covered 25 games, so it's a lot of shit. Um, big shout out to the one and only Billy Ricky. Go check him out every Saturday night before Insomniac. Um, go show him some love. Uh, he's, a, he's a foul mouth member. And big shout out to everybody else who called in tonight. If I didn't get to your call, I'm sorry, but Saturday night, this Saturday, obviously, we're not going to be able to take phone calls, but coming in next Saturday night, we're going to be taking a lot of phone calls. We go back to, I'm going to be switching it up. You know, some nights I'll put people on on Skype like we used to, and some nights I'm not. So I'm, I'm trying to just shuffle everything the right way to make everybody happy. So bear with us if everything's not on track yet. All right, guys. So as far as that, we'll see you guys uh, Friday and definitely Saturday. All right. Peace out, everybody. See you there, or see you on another time. Yeah. Bye-bye, dickhead. Mm, yeah. Oh, uh, I have African-American friends. I don't... Get the fuck wow. out of here, dude. I will bend for you. I will bend for you. Oh. You fucking goon. You fucking goon. Dropping loads. Love is always. Funny North Carolina. Mr. Sunshine, known as Mr. Tommy and the homeless person's home over there. He's loving it. He's loving the lifestyle. Oh yeah, it's coming out. Mr. Sunshine out. Oop, not me, not Mr. Sunshine. I got sun on my face. I should be Mr. Sunshine. Love is always. Peace the fuck out. Man, fuck it. Young Republican, you suck a mean fucking cock.